what's up with a happy Roblox family. I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids. I know, Luke. I can't believe we're all grown up now. Yeah, and about to have a family of our own. <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute. Oh, don't tease me. You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no thank you. Sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much. You you need to eat more food. Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes. Are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely! Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. <laughs> This place is so adorable. Oh, look, honey. This is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. Um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Oh. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Hi, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna, sorry about that. <laughs> We're just feeling very happy these days because my belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, <laughs> we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need it a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Ugh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. 
Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese. This place is amazing. I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now. <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke. It's like when we were kids. Oh, I landed on my tummy. Ugh. I'm telling you, she's gonna give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines. They make you fly in the air. Wow! <laughs> Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Whoa. Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have go into. She's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man, I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously, you're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay, I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. <sighs> no, look at my face. I'm, I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran through the door. I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi. I'm Daphne, and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 um. I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it! Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense! Everybody stop talking! Ah, I'm gonna have a baby! Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to... Push, Molly! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, no, no. That's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh, no. I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Oh, uh, 
which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Oh, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. I uh oh. little girl have you decided what you're gonna name her whoa are you about to have another baby molly uh no they just came and served us pie cake all this delicious food so i was really hungry i don't eat a lot <laughs> this is my ate too much belly <laughs> oh okay um well here's your little girl what are you going to name her we've decided to name her maggie oh that's an adorable name Oh, thank you. Um, but wait, are are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh no, none of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Aww. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like I don't like to bother anybody. I just I just mind my own business. I'm You're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV! Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little demon child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa, Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute, she looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey, I, 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 I. Yep, that's definitely my daughter. But how do I prove it? What seems to be the problem, Mrs. Acker? I I think that Hannah's my actual daughter. <gasps> Wait, what? What are you even talking about? This is crazy talk. <laughs> no, I came to Twilight Daycare to have my baby. And well, this baby looks just like me and acts just like me. And Maggie doesn't. Maybe they switched us at birth, switched our babies at birth. Whoa, we did have a nurse that ended up quit quitting. Too much pressure. She went off to be a model or a musician or something. I don't know. But anyway, we've heard of other babies being switched. O-M-G. Okay, time for a blood test. Okay, Hannah. I just need to check your blood to see if it matches Molly's. What? I don't want my blood taken. I swear I won't be naughty ever again. Uh -oh. oh, it's not that you're in trouble, honey. It's that we think there has been a mix-up with your mom's. What? She's not really my mom? No, Maggie, I'll always be your mom, even if I am your adopted mom. But I think that Hannah might be my daughter, too. Blood-related. Okay, um, just um, hold still for a minute, and I'm going to check your blood now. Yep, that's definitely how I would have acted. Maggie, you don't have to be upset. 
I am upset. I'm not naughty enough, so I'm not your daughter. No, that's not true. I can have a demon and an angel for a daughter. <laughs> well, the results are in. Anna is, in fact, your daughter. I knew it! But now I don't have a mommy. Yes, you do. Both have mommies, so you both don't have to cry. Please, no, seriously, both of you crying. It's gonna make me crazy! <laughs> I can't believe it. She's my mom, and she's kind of ugly. Hannah! Okay, yeah, I probably would have said that too, but I also say um things like cheesy macaroni. Do you say that? No, you're old. Okay, um, are you sure the results were right? Do I have to take this one home? Yes, this is in fact your daughter. They were switched at birth. Oh, um, she. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, guys, I am playing Choose a Slide. Well, or rather, Choose a Toilet. <laughs> Okay, I think that's hilarious. I'm just gonna say, um, there's toilet paper all over the floor and you're gonna get flushed! Oh, she got flushed! Oh, that's hilarious! Which would you rather live in, a giant shoe or a giant pumpkin? Um, I love Halloween, but I feel like the pumpkin would rot. But then if it was Daisy's shoe, it would probably smell horrible. Molly! Ah, I can't talk right now, Daisy getting flushed down the toilet! Whoa, I see a light at the end of the tunnel though. Um, all right, I won. I got giant shoe. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a poo-poo. Look at right there. Like, it kind of looked like it. I was like, oh, no. It's a cute little teddy bear. Ew! We're in the boys' bathroom. Gross. All right. Um, yeah, there is a water leak. That's so gross. All right, guys, let's go down this slide and see what's next. There's toilets everywhere. Have you ever called your teacher mom by accident? Oh my God, so many times. Especially when I'm like, mom, is it lunch? I wanna go to lunch. And my teacher's like, I'm not your mom. Gosh. <laughs> yes, woohoo. Um, there's a garbage can in here, a sink. And that's about it. Just like a place to chill if you want to like hang out in the bathroom, I guess. I don't know why you'd want to though. Um, it's gonna stink like poo poo in here, so don't hang out in the bathroom. Alright, are you... What is a better routine? Early bird or night owl? Um, I don't get up early. It is totally against me forever and always. Look at me, guys! <laughs> I had on scuba gear. That was so funny. Yes, night owl wins! Guys, I haven't lost a single one of these yet. We, we feel each other, people. We have the same answers because we are, like, we just know each other so well, I guess. Um, which would be better, ice cream swimming pool or jello? Oh, man! Someone gave her a swirly. I'm gonna go with ice cream, even though it would be super sticky. I just think it would be delicious. Wait a minute, guys. Where am I? Oh, um, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Wait a minute. Guys! I spoke too soon! Oh no! Womp, 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 womp. Oh! Man, they shot cannons at me! Doo doo cannons! Oh! Ugh! Am I ever gonna, like, die or is this gonna shoot cannons at me? Okay, there we go. <laughs> this game is fun so far. Um. Oh wait, I have to choose again, I guess. Alright, fine! I'll go in the jello swimming pool. I can't even move. Why can't I move? Okay, there we go. Flush me down the toilet. Bum, bum, bum. Yay! Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, jello pool to get more. Okay. Wait a minute. She's sitting down. Are you feeling okay? Gummy bear. I've been stuck in here so long that I've started to develop a personal relationship with the toilet. We're on a first page. Same basis now. The better drinking straw, paper or plastic? Ah! Um, I know this is better for the environment, so I'll just pick this one, I guess. But um, I like the crazy bendy straws that you can like wear. Um, like have you ever seen them? Like glasses? Uh oh. You guys don't like to recycle, apparently, because <gasps> Homer Simpson. Don't. Live, laugh, flush. What's he throwing at me? Donuts. 
Oh! Blah, blah, blah. Oopsie doodles. All right, fine. I'll pick the plastic ones. All right, guys. Here we go. Flush! Oh, I'm getting a swirly. Ew! This game is ridiculously funny. Did you guys think I was going to say it was ridiculous? Yeah, it is. That's why I love it. I love it! Where are we going now? You need to climb this ladder. Unicorn Charm is up here. What are you doing, Unicorn Charm? Oh, wait. I think I went through here. Um, You discover an unopened bag of chips under your bed. What do you do? This is not even a question you should be asking me. Like, look at me. Yeah, send me down there. Because I would eat the chips in a heartbeat. And you guys would too. <laughs> no one picked to the garbage can. Actually, some people did, but whatever. Um, How do I get to the next part? Like, all these toilet doors are opening. Oh my god, that girl's got a toilet... Paper head. Whee! Worst way to spend a day. Spinach stuck in your front teeth. Palms covered in Cheeto dust. Yeah. Oh, that is the worst. But also, you would have been eating Cheetos, so... Um, maybe having spinach stuck in your teeth because then you would be eating spinach? No, you guys picked Cheeto palms. I know you so well, see? Okay, how do I get out of here? This is confusing. Uh. You don't go in the shower, do you? Maybe no. Maybe this other one? I feel like maybe you can swim down or something. Nope. Not in that toilet. Where am I going, even? Oh my gosh. Haha. <laughs> That one's like a big poo-poo. Uh, guys, where am I going? I don't, I don't understand. Help me, toilet paper head. Oh, look, a secret passage. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Which band-aid is better? Regular or with cute characters? This one again. A silly question. Of course, the regular boring band-aid is none other than boring. Cute so many toilets. What do they need with all these toilets anyway? I mean, seriously, no one's even in here. The toilets are all leaking all over. Your toilets don't even work. Oh, look, I found the baby changing station. So cute. <laughs> Too bad this is not the way out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm like walking under the slide. That was crazy. Is this the next way out? Whoa, yep. Ooh. The better dessert, cake or ice cream. It will always be cake for me, but cake with ice cream on top is even better. All right, let's see what everybody else chose. Oh no, they chose ice cream. And now I'm gonna get attacked by Poopy. Oh no, Um, just a bulldozer is going to come and bulldoze me over. Oh! <laughs> There's no escaping it. There was no escaping it. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I will choose. Ice cream is better. I mean, I don't mind ice cream, especially strawberry and chocolate. Actually, any type of ice cream is delicious, but I still like cake better. It's all right, though. If you guys chose ice cream, I'll choose it, too. Uh, how do I get out of here? Is anyone out there? Oh, two different tunnels. And is this the wrong way? That's the question. No! Okay, best toilet paper style. If you put the toilet paper under. <laughs> Holy guacamole, what is wrong with you? Just kidding, it's toilet paper. Half the time I don't even put it on the roll. And then my mom's like, could you stop being so lazy? <laughs> and I'm always like, no. You've swirled through the first 10 stages. Wow. The golden toilet of success. <laughs> I love the golden toilet of success. Do I get to become like a poop emoji or something at the end when I win? <laughs> I think that would be kind of cool. Let, 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 let. 
Okay, what would you rather be? Guys, I am a professional gamer, so I'm gonna choose this because I actually love my work. I love that I get to make videos for you guys. It's my favorite thing. Aww. So, that's what I picked. And apparently, a professional gamer was not what you guys picked. Stinky poop, ha ha la 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 la. What? Ew, gross! I fell outside the game. That pooper was so gross. Why is it so dark in here? Okay, there we go. It turned the lights off. It was creepy. It was like haunted for a minute. All right, let's go through here again. And see, I feel like you guys maybe chose astronaut. You know, being a gamer is a real job. I think you'd be more likely to be a gamer than an astronaut. Being an astronaut is like really hard. Oh my God. Why is there Chuck E. Cheese carpet in here? Oh, I'm at the bowling alley. That's why. Uh-oh, and I'm one of the bins. This isn't going to be good. I'm running. You can't get me. I'm hiding. See? What? No! Oh, look at my body. <laughs> look like that girl from Stranger Things. That was creepy. Running up the hill. Um, and that was the song from that, um, if you didn't know. But anyway, now I'm going to be the superhero. Because that's what you guys chose. And it only took me three chances. Whee! Look at me being flushed. Kachu! I don't know why I made that sound. That's not how a toilet sounds. All right. Um, now there's a thousand sinks. And I have to try to find my way out. But I'll never give up and never surrender. I'm not sure I can do anything when I'm waist deep in poo poo. <laughs> Which animal would you want to switch places with for a day? A bird, a cat, or a monkey? Um, la, 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 la. I'm gonna pick a bird. If you guys pick a cat, it's because you're just mean. Because cats are just like, whatever! Yay! Y'all picked a bird. Must be you wanna see what it's like to fly. Oh, ew. <laughs> I'm swimming in that. That's disgusting. Um, let's see. Which would you rather ride into battle with? A squirrel, a frog, a lobster for sure! Pinch, pinch! Right on the booty of my enemies. Ah, being flushed! You guys better pick a lot. What? You guys didn't pick a lobster? What are you gonna ride a squirrel? It's gonna it's gonna throw some some seeds and nuts at you? Oh god, it's an alligator! How did you guys do this to me? You should have chose lobster! Uh-oh. Not good. Not good at all. <sighs> I don't even know what everyone else would have chose. But I guess I'm about to find out. I gotta ride an animal into battle. <sighs> I guess it's a frog. My frog is the next choice. Here goes nothing! Whoa! <laughs> Guys! Seriously? You really did pick the squirrel? Oh, Oh no, a giant poopy. <laughs> Your wish is flush, my flush command. Oh god, here comes a giant. Yeah. He turned me into a poop. <laughs> this game is so funny. And now I'm a giant poop. Oh no, I'm a giant poop poop. Oh no, I'm a giant poopy poop. Hey, what? It's my job to make up songs, okay? And right now, I'm a giant poop. So uh, that's the song I made up. Oh, oh, I'm a giant poopy poop. Flush me down. Flush me down, guys. I am brown. Flush me down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, fine. You guys picked to ride a squirrel into battle. I don't know why, but now I'm a giant poo poo. Um, do any of these look like they're the way out? No. No. Secret back here? No. It's hard to run around with this giant poo-poo attached to me. All right, guys. I found the secret passage. Here we go. Okay. If you could have any pet, what would it be? Uh, guys, I don't know if you know this, but my favorite animal is an elephant. So I don't care if I die. This is what my choice is. And whatever if you don't like it. And you didn't. Oh, no. Ah! It's Pennywise. Well, you want to know what? I have a balloon, but I'm also a poo, so you should stay away from me. Oh, man, he's floating me into outer space. Whoa. 
Poop down! Oh. Poop down! Oh, wait, I'm back to myself. Yay, at least there's that. All right, guys, let's go back through here. See if I can make a better choice. Apparently, you guys want a giant panda or a talking parrot was the most popular. I love when I'm wearing the scuba gear. <laughs> it's the only way to get flushed, really. I am. I was doing so good, and now I'm just doing terrible. Rubber ducky. The best ideas are born in the bathroom. Oh, now I'm a giant rubber ducky. Oh, my God. I can't even stand up. This rubber ducky head is too, too difficult. Okay. I look adorable. Slam the like button if you think I look so cute. Because you should. I look adorable. So, basically, the most popular thing you guys would want is a talking parrot. Okay, noted. I'm going to be sending you one all for Christmas then. Yep. And when you're trying to sleep, it'll be like, Bwah! Give me a cracker. Bwah! <laughs> Ooh, a hot tub. I'm just going to float around in here for a while. Guys, thanks so much for me um, watching me. I can't even talk. Quack! Thanks so much for watching me pick a slide or pick a toilet and get flushed. It was so much fun. And I think I'm going to play the rest of it, guys. What do you think? Should I? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Quack! Another detention, and I missed the school bus, so now I have to walk all the way home. Oh, I'm so tired. It was such a long day. <sighs> What's that guy doing crawling around on the ground? He must have lost his car keys or something. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> ah! It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a zombie! Oh, don't be ridiculous, Molly. There's no such thing as zombies. Where'd you get that cool Halloween costume? Uh, something tells me that he's a real zombie. Ah! Stay away from me, zombie! Stay away! Brains. Is he still behind me? Oh, gosh, yes! He's still coming behind me. Oh, my gosh! Okay, maybe if I just wind him around these swings, he'll get all trapped up, and then and then he won't be able to get me. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll work, right? <laughs> Just running around. Uh oh. <laughs> He's sitting down on the swing. <laughs> okay, guys, I gotta run home. Wait a minute. First, I should take a picture because I don't think my family will believe me that, 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 that there's there's zombies in Brookhaven. I've gotta pull my phone on my backpack and 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 take a photo. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Say cheese, zombie. No, I said cheese. Okay, yeah. All you can say is brains. My house. I've never been so happy to see you, house. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Daisy! Daisy! What are you freaking out about, Molly? Oh, it's probably because you're gonna have to tell Mom you had detention again. No, Daisy. No, it's it's much worse than that. You got in school suspension? Molly. No, 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 I I I was walking home from detention and and Molly, take a deep breath. You look like you saw a ghost. Worse. A zombie! Molly, don't be ridiculous! Stop pranking me! No, Daisy, seriously, I really saw a zombie in Brookhaven. I think there's gonna be a zombie apocalypse. No, there's not, Molly. I don't believe you. Oh, really? Look at this. Holy guacamole! You, 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 you took a picture and some video of a real zombie? Whoa, that's YouTube gold. Or maybe we could put it on TikTok, too. Daisy, not the point! We're gonna... We're gonna be eaten by zombies! They, they all want our brains! Oh my god, we have to tell mom and then we have to leave Brookhaven! Okay, well maybe you should tell her she believes you better. Yeah, that is true, you fib sometimes. But have your photo and video as backup, just so we can show with a proof. Got it, Daisy. Come on, let's go tell her. Ah, <sighs> what am I gonna make for dinner tonight? Oh, hey girls! Molly, did you have detention again? Um, yes, but Mom, we have something very, very scary, drastic, and crazy to tell you. What? Are you girls okay? What's going on? Mom, take it from me. I didn't want to believe Molly when she said this, but it's the truth. There's a zombie in Brookhaven. What? What are you talking about? That can't be true. Show her the video and the photos, Molly. Okay, Mom, come look. What is that? It's a real-life zombie, Mom. We have to get out of here before all of Brookhaven panics and, 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 and we can't get out of here. Oh my gosh, you're right. Okay, 
You girls go start packing your bags. I'll call your dad at work. If we don't get out of here soon, Mom, we might turn into zombies. Don't talk like that, Molly. Just go pack a bag. Don't bring too much. We need to be very mobile. Okay. Oh my gosh, what do I pack for a zombie apocalypse? I'd like to think of it as packing for a vacation. We're not staying in Brookhaven where the zombie apocalypse is. We're staying in a beautiful new town where there's no zombie apocalypse. Well, that is true, but I'm going to miss my friends. Yeah, me too. Here's hoping they don't turn into zombies. Yeah, here's hoping. Are you packed already, Daisy? I sure am, Molly. Daisy, do you think I should pack my metal detector? What? Why? Why would you need that? In case, you know, maybe you could detect a zombie or something. Molly, ma, they aren't made of metal. Uh, yeah, but, okay, yeah. I guess I don't need that. How about my guitar? And then I could be like, la, 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 in case we have a campfire. Molly, we're not going to have a campfire. We're just trying to escape from some zombies. Okay, well, what about my ice cream cart? You know, that thing is amazing. And we can make some extra money. I could sell it on the beach, you know. I could sell chocolate ice cream. Molly, just pack some clothes and stuff. And don't forget underwear. Why? Um, should I not pack, like, you know, like, anything else? Like, my computer or... Yes, bring your computer, of course. But, like, just, like... Clothes, underwear, socks, a hairbrush, a toothbrush, toothpaste. You know, the necessities, not a guitar. But what if we get bored and you need me to sing you a song to turn that frown upside down and not think about some zombies? Ay, ay, ay. I think sometimes, Molly, you're already brain dead. Oh, Daisy, that's rude. Just pack, Molly, hurry. I'm packing the guitar. I don't care what she says. Don't worry, family. I'm going to take care of all of us. Dad, you made it home. Yes, and I saw five more zombies. And and, it, and it's not good. They're going to make the announcement soon, and the roadways are going to get all clogged, and we're not going to be able to get out of Brookhaven, and then we're going to turn into a zombie family. Oh, man, that sounds awful. Okay, let's go get in the car and get out of here. Bye, Brookhaven. Bye, beautiful house. I'm going to miss you. I brought a little vehicle to help us, uh, so, you know, the zombies can't get in. Well, at least not right away. Only guacamole, Dad. You're super prepared. Okay, Molly, buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy, long ride out of Brookhaven. Really? Why aren't the roads paved? No, this vehicle is just really bumpy. Oh. <laughs> May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? Oh, listen, Dad. Um, they're making an announcement on the radio. Maybe they're going to give away, like, free tickets to Disney since, uh, you know, Brookhaven's kind of zombified. I don't think so, Molly. Let's just listen to the announcement. We want to let you know that zombies are starting to take over Brookhaven. We don't want anyone to panic. No panicking, please. But we don't want any of you to turn into zombies. So we're asking you all to stay in your houses. Do not leave your houses. Uh-oh, we broke that rule. Not really, Molly. I mean, we didn't know that we were supposed to stay in our house before they made the announcement. But look, we've already made it to almost the line. You know, the line out of town. Whoa! So far, nobody's on the road. Well, give it some time, Daisy. I'm sure a lot of people will be on the road soon trying to escape Brookhaven. Good thing we got out when we did so we don't turn into zombies. Dad, look! It looks like they put a wall up all around Brookhaven! Yeah, but look, there's still one road we can get out of. No, they've got a construction on that road. It's closed. Well, Molly, this is kind of a circumstance where I don't care about road construction. We need to get out of here before the zombies get us. Okay, Dad, well, put the pedal to the metal and let's get out of here. Mom, look, we're almost out of Brookhaven. I know, honey. We're finally going to be safe. Okay, everybody, here we go. Goodbye, Brookhaven. Wait a minute. What? It's blocked. What? There's like a force field here. Oh my gosh. They've, they've, they've made it impossible to leave. But the zombies are in Brookhaven. You have to let us out. Let us out of this force field right now. Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's official. We're doomed. Breaking news, breaking news. The government has put a force field around Brookhaven because we are now considered a zombie zone and they don't want it to spread to the rest of the country or world. 
I hope you all remain safe and don't become zombies. This is our last news report. Goodbye. What? They put a force field around us and they're not going to let us leave? But they're zombies! Speaking of zombies, um, there comes one right now! Ah! Okay, um, guys, we need to go, like, right now. Where are we going to go? Everything's closed up. I don't know, but there's a zombie coming and I can't get inside this giant truck. We're all going to die! Ah! Well, no, we're not going to die, Molly. We're just going to turn into zombies. We'll now be in the zombie family. Brains. I don't want to be a zombie. I don't want to be a zombie! Daisy, what are you doing? I'm taking this horse to school. What? Why are you taking a horse to school? Because, Molly, it's crazy outfit day, and the horse is a part of my accessories. Daisy, you cannot take a horse to school. The teacher's going to give you detention. Wait, what? She will? Yeah, of course she will. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put the horse at a desk and make it do your homework? That's not a bad idea, Molly. Daisy, lose the horse! Okay, fine, grumpy. Well, maybe I'm a little grumpy because... It's still dark outside, and you woke me up for school. Seriously, the bus doesn't come this early. Well, um, I just want you to get out of bed on time because you've been late for so many times that you're literally going to have detention for the rest of your life, Molly. Do you want that? Uh, well, uh... Molly! No, I don't want detention for the rest of my life. Hey, Daisy, what do you think of my crazy outfit? Well, it's certainly crazy. What do you think of my cowgirl outfit? I think I look crazy and cute. Yeah, you always seem to be fashionable, even when it's crazy outfit day. Finally, the sun's coming up. Yeah, well, I may have gotten us out of bed just a little bit early today. You think? Oh, look who these losers are. We're not losers, Sarah. Why are you always saying we're losers? Look at how you're dressed. You have to be losers. Uh, newsflash! Today is crazy outfit day at school, so maybe you're the loser because you're not wearing a crazy outfit. Whatever. Like, I do that baby stuff anyway. Like, I don't dress up, like, for all that nonsense. It's not nonsense. The whole school does it for spirit week, and Molly and I just happen to be in the spirit what are you, like some sort of, like, cowgirl or something? Where's your horse even? I was gonna bring a horse, but Molly said... Look, I don't even care what you have to say. Ugh, this is boring. W Daisy, wait! What, Molly, what is it? You forgot to look both ways. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that blow so dangerous. What are you talking about, looking both ways? What are you, babies? Uh, no, we're safe. Sa Sarah, you have to look both ways before you cross a road. Oh, she'll never learn. You're telling me, Daisy. You're telling me. Wow, this test is really hard. Molly, remember, there's no talking and no cheating during the test. You don't want detention, do you? No, I wasn't cheating. I was just saying, this test is so hard, Mrs. Smith. Well, it does challenge you, I agree. I think it's pretty easy. Of course you do, Daisy. Of course you do. Whatever, this test is so hard. Where's my notes? <gasps> you can't use a note, Sarah. That's called cheating. Whatever, it's not really cheating if I took the notes. Actually, yes, it is. Daisy, is there a problem? Please stop talking or you're going to fail your test. <gasps> oh, sorry, Mrs. Smith. can't believe she's cheating. That's so wrong. No, it's not. You're just such a baby. My sister's not a baby. Molly, no talking. Sorry, it's just Sarah. Molly, no talking. Okay, fine. Ooh, time for lunch, my favorite. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Oh, hey, Molly. I'm just so excited because today I got Doritos in my lunch. Wow, your mom's super cool. Uh, my mom always, mom always packs me just an apple or whatever. Well, sit down, Molly. You could share some of my Doritos if you want. Oh, wow, really? That's super nice of you. Yeah, why don't you share with me, as in give me the entire bag? What? 
Uh, no, sorry, Sarah. I, I didn't say I would share with you. I only have enough to share with Molly today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't want you to share. I want you to give me the entire bag of Doritos. She doesn't want to, Sarah. <gasps> Sarah, you took her Doritos! Sarah, give those back. You want them after I've chewed on them? Ew, you're gross. Why are you so mean to me, Sarah? You're always bullying me. Brookie! Brookie, wait! It'll be... Brookie, come back! Oh, my gosh. Oh, Sarah is so rude. All right, I gotta go do some damage control. Brookie, are you okay? No. I wanted those Doritos. They were mine, and I'm really hungry. Well, I'll share my apple with you. You could have half of it. Thanks, Molly. It's really nice of you. But... She's always bullying me, and I don't know what to do about it. We could tell the teacher. That's probably the best thing to do. Yeah, but it doesn't get my Doritos back. You know, Sarah just doesn't play by the rules. <sighs> She's so rude. But one day, it's going to catch up with her, Brookie. I hope so, Molly. I really hope so. Whoa, Brookie, you had a growth spurt. No wonder you're so hungry. I know, right? I can't get enough food lately. You're probably going to be like seven foot tall. You could be a basketball player. I love sports. That would be amazing. Come on, let's go eat my apple. Okay, Molly. Hey, where you guys been? Lunch is almost over. Well, it's a long story. Here you go, Brookie. Here's half. Thanks, Molly. But let's just say the story starts and ends with Sarah. Oh, no. What did she do now? Walk out in front of traffic? Cheat on her test? No! She bullied Brookie and took her Doritos. Then Brookie cried in the bathroom. I had to give her a pep talk. And now I'm sharing my apple with her. Thank goodness I have friends like you guys. Or else I'd be hungry. Yeah, Sarah's just a bully. Someday she's going to learn her lesson. I agree, Molly. Someday she definitely will. Hey, guys, I have a great idea. What is it, Molly? While we're waiting for the school bus, why don't we play on the playground for a while? Ooh, I love that idea. Maybe it'll turn your frown upside down. It definitely did, Molly. You guys are my best friends. And we're your best friends, Brookie. Now we just have to wait for the school day to be over. Boring! Molly, maybe if you paid attention once in a while, you'd actually like the subject. Uh, probably not. <laughs> Whee! This is so much fun! I'm so glad we decided to come to the playground after school. Me too, Molly. This is so cool. Yeah, I love swinging on the swings. I haven't done this since, like, kindergarten. I know what you mean. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going super fast. Whoa. Molly, be careful. You're going to fall off of there. I'm going to jump. Whoa. <laughs> I actually jumped backwards. Did you guys see that? Yeah, that was insane, Molly. Maybe we should go down the slide next and go into the pool. Ow, you ran into me, Brookie. Stop running into me. Stop running into me. Um, Molly, you're standing in front of the swing. Maybe you shouldn't do that if you don't want someone to, um, like, run into you. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's a good point. Okay, who's going down the slide first? You are, Molly, since it was your idea. No one's going down the slide because I own it. I'm going to put my name on it, like, right now. What? You don't own the playground slide, Sarah. Yeah, I do. No one's allowed to come up here. I'm coming up there. Get out of here. Seriously. Sarah, get out of the way. I want to go down the slide. No, no. And let me think about it for just a second. No. Seriously, you made me wait all that time just to say no? Let me think about it again. No. Whatever, Sarah. You're so rude. Ugh. She drives me insane. I know. Tell me about it. Oh, man, I forgot my backpack at school. I'll be right back. Hurry up. You're going to miss the bus. Whoa, here comes the bus. Come on. We don't want to miss it. Sarah, what are you doing? You have to look both ways. Whatever. I don't look both ways. Sarah? Sarah? Uh, oh, my God. Somebody call 911. Sarah got hit by the school bus. Sarah, are, are you okay? Say something. It definitely hit her head. Oh my gosh, we need an ambulance. We need an ambulance. Oh my god, this isn't good. I called 911. The ambulance is on the way. Sarah, just hold on. Hold on. 
Well, Sarah, it looks like you have a concussion, and also, your leg looks sprained. You're very lucky. I mean, having a school bus hit you, it, it could have killed you. Whatever, when can I get out of here? Ah, uh, you definitely have to stay for the next two days for observation. We want to make sure that the concussion clears up before we send you on home. Ugh, oh, this is so annoying. Just try to relax, Sarah. I'll have the cafeteria bring you in some dinner. Sarah! Sarah, are you okay? Who wants to know? It's me, Molly. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I just didn't want to be bothered to look at you. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm in the hospital. Sarah! Oh my gosh! I, I, I thought maybe the bus had killed you! Well, obviously not. I'm still here talking. Yeah. So, so what did the doctor say? She said I have a concussion and I have a sprained leg, so I have to stay here for two days. Whoa! Sarah, you got lucky! You know when I said you should look both ways? And you said you don't follow the rules? And that's for babies? Yeah, I remember. Well, uh, I think you should start following the rules. What? Why? Because a school bus hit you! That's why! Why else? Ugh, I'm so irritated right now that I can't go and do what I want. Um, you would be able to do what you want if you would follow the rules. Yeah, I mean... I guess I should have looked both ways, because it did really hurt when that school bus hit me. Yeah, not to mention you scared the school bus driver half to death. She thought you were a raccoon. What? I don't even look like a raccoon. Why would you say that? Um, maybe you had some bags under your eyes or something. I do not look like a trash panda. Take that back right now. Sorry, Sarah, I can't. And you can't get out of the bed, so see you later. Molly, you come back here right now. I can't believe you called me a raccoon! Get back here! <laughs> Sarah finally learned her lesson. You should play by the rules. Especially look both ways, because, like, you know, a school bus might hit you or something. This has been a crazy day. Molly, are you coming to study hall? Nah, I'm going to stay here in the gym and work on my um jump shot. But, Molly, gym class is over. I don't really have anything to study, and I prefer staying in the gym. Study hall is so boring. Okay, well, suit yourself. I don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. I think I did awesome in the just this gym class. I um got so many baskets. It was awesome. You think you actually did good? Who said that? Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> Kinda, sorta, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. <sighs> Whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Well, if you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute? I'm like guacamole! That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I going to ever win? Oh, I want to be the best basketball player. She always bullies me, and I want to show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. Time's up. I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole. Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. 
Watch this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've got, I've got to do more. We've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah, oh, oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're going to miss English. Molly? Ma Molly! Oh, my God, Molly, somebody call 911. Okay, let's see. Molly, hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes. <laughs> Is he going to be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know. Sarah pushed her. She got in school suspension for it. Wow. Sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia. Is that why they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Who am I? Yo, Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. Well, thanks for the positivity! Ay, 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 the doctor's around here. Who am I? Yo, Molly! <laughs> Who am I? Yo, Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. Who am I? Oh, boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together. I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today. And we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel, too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close up of just me because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ugh, fine. I guess you can say hi, too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever. I'm going to go get in the water. I can't do with my sister anymore. This is going to be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just going to be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh. There's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. Ugh. <sighs> Wee! Don't, don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she can have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I got you to the water soda. Soda? Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. Okay, I'm going to have to tell her more memories. I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and, and, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient. Baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good dentist. No, I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on. I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though, because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira. 
Dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him a Marvin. Wow, <laughs> that's a very interesting name, Marvin the Monkey. Okay, what's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay, Marv the Monkey. I got Monkey go kill. All right, now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right, tickle, tickle. <laughs> I just realized that my dentist is a little cray-cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I going to have to have a real canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne. Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist. Well, if that's your calling in life. I don't know your body label. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet. Okay, let's tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth. Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face. And her teeth are super shiny and white. <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut, you hear that? I get donut. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Um, uh, well, um, uh, Molly. <gasps> you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry, I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, <laughs> uh blueberries, yeah. Um, more like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. Uh, it's Daisy's turn. Daisy! Molly, it's your turn. Come on. Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man. Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when... It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were losers. You want to hang out with us now? Now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa. This is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whee Molly? M Molly? 
Oh my god, she's under the water! Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, say something! Anything! Look at her leg! It looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her! Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> Sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog, I mean triple dog, daring my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. As soon as you get to the hospital, they'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog dare. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh, what? Nurse, nurse, there's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That crazy lady is your sister. I have a sister? Where? Where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy! Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible! Okay, fine, I'll stay here and tell you that, even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you! Oh, I'm so happy! Although well, for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. You really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding! Oh my gosh, I remember everything! Sarah pushed me, and I fell and hit my head! Oh, she is a horrible bully! Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. Holy guacamole, she did? Yeah, and you better rest, Molly. I don't want you to s strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible! For at least another week or so. Oh, Molly, same old sister I've always known. <laughs> Come on, Molly, we're gonna be late. What are you waiting for? I don't wanna go to school today. Well, what's new? But this is preschool. It's not like you're gonna get detention or homework. No, I know, I just, I don't wanna go. 
If we're late, though, you might get a timeout. I don't want to go, okay? Sometimes I just I want to stay home, okay? Molly, that's ridiculous. You know we have to go here so that Mom can work and we can learn lots of good things. Just, I don't feel very good today. Don't try to fake being sick. Everybody know it's not true. Now come on, before we're late, I want to see all of our friends. Fine, but I'm telling you, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, why can't I get in? Hello? Let us in! Molly, come on, let's just go in through the baby entrance. I'm not a baby anymore. Ugh, my stomach really hurts. Yeah, yeah, Molly, you're faking it. Everybody knows it. I I'm not faking it. I, I really don't feel good. Well, why don't you go to the bathroom and try to go poo-poo? That might make you feel better. I don't have to go poo-poo. Ugh, my sister is so annoying. Just leave me alone, okay? You don't have to believe me. No one asked you to anyway. Oh, no. My stomach is really starting to hurt. Oh, man. I think I do actually have to go potty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope I make it in time. Oh, that's so embarrassing to have an accident. Wait a minute, I'm going the wrong way. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it to the potty! <laughs> Too late. Uh oh. Oh no! I went poo poo in my pants! Oh! That's so embarrassing! Well, good morning, Molly. Ew, what's that smell? Uh oh, did you have an accident? I didn't mean to, I promise, I didn't! <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to! It's okay, Molly, it's okay. We'll just, we'll just change your pull-up and everything will be fine, I promise. Oh, how embarrassing! It's alright, trust me. Everybody has accidents when they're toddlers. I don't really feel good today. My stomach is really hurting. Oh, that's probably just because you're hungry. It is snack time. Come on, we'll get something to eat. No, oh, I'm telling you, I don't want anything to eat. It sounds really gross. No, you're probably just hungry. Did you know that if you get too hungry, your tummy can actually hurt? Now play with your toy and be good. Now, come on, let's eat up. I'm telling you, I don't feel so good. I don't want to eat that baby food. Ah, oh, la, la, da, da, da. Da 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 Molly says she doesn't feel good, but she's a liar. I'm not lying. Oh. Ew! Oh, yuck! You throw up on me! Oh, yuck! They don't pay me enough for this job to have babies throw up on me! Oh, I'm sorry, Taylor. I didn't mean it. Sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. It's just, ew, throw up makes me really grossed out. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? I'm not sure. I don't feel so. <clears throat> Ew, now she threw up on me. Ew, she really is sick. Oh my, it looks like we're going to need to give you a bath, Molly. You're covered in throw up. I don't feel so good. <laughs> I just want my mommy. <clears throat> it's okay, we're going to take you Take very good care of you here, Molly, until your mom can come pick you up. Well, good luck. Our mom's at a business meeting today. She probably won't be able to pick us up for hours. Don't say that, Daisy. I want my mom. <laughs> oh, no. Are you going to throw up again? Don't throw up in the tub. Or on me. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. I feel a little better, though, after I threw up so many times. I think you better take a nap, Molly. You're definitely sick with something. Maybe food poisoning or the stomach bug? Can I have something to drink? I feel so thirsty after throwing up so much. Of course you can, sweetie, but I think we should just give you some water and not milk, because milk can make your stomach upset when it already is hurting. I just want my mommy! <laughs> Molly, I promise I'm gonna take good care of you. Okay. I guess I believe you. <laughs> it is a real good. I know, honey. It's going to be okay. La da da, la da da, la da da da, da da da. It's going to be okay, Molly. I think when you take a nap, you'll feel better when you wake up. I sure hope so. I don't want to throw up anymore. Mm, it seems like you may have gotten it out of your system, sweetie. 
Now take a nice night night and everything will be okay, I promise. Okay, just just don't swing me around too much because I think I might throw up again. Daisy, what's wrong? I don't feel so good, my stomach hurts. Oh, don't fake it, Daisy. Marley, I'm not faking it. When have I ever ugh, faked anything? You're still faking it. I don't believe that was a real throw up. Marley, I just ugh, threw up twice. What are you talking about? I can't fake that. You probably gave me a stomach bug. What? No, I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh my gosh, what's... Ew, gross, another baby threw up. Oh no, it's the dreaded stomach bug. Dun, dun, dun. We'll all have it. I just know it. Every single parent, caregiver, and child at Twilight Daycare will get this. That feels so good. Ugh. Don't worry, Daisy. It only lasts a couple of hours, then it goes away. I'm feeling lots better. I can't believe you gave me your stomach bug. Oh, this is the worst. This is seriously the worst. Uh, hopefully nobody else is throwing up. Is everybody okay? No one's answering. Okay, um, I want to slime somebody right now and tell them that they that I have the stomach bug. Um, uh, let's see, who should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. You're about, oh, I can slime everybody. How much does that cost? 50 Robux, worth it. <laughs> okay, when's everybody gonna get slimed? When you all get, wait, how did you pick me up? I don't want you to pick me up. Stop picking me up. Okay, I paid for everybody to get slimed. And, um, nobody got slimed. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm, um, oh, whoa. 400 Robux? No, no, no. I'm uh, nothing. I'm, I'm not doing anything. Uh, yeah, no, not, not at all. Molly, are you back to your old antics of being a prankster? Me? No, not at all. Molly, you just dumped slime on my head. Molly, oh my gosh, you need to go to timeout. You can't give me timeout today. What? Why not? Because I was so sick with the stomach bug. Well, now you seem just fine. So now it's time for timeout. What? Don't you dare take me to baby jail. Don't you dare. Um, baby jail is exactly where you belong. Let me out. This is rude. This can't be happening. Let me out of jail. I don't like this. I want to go home. I want my mommy. I'm warning you, Taylor. You're not going to like what happens next. I want to get out of here. Let me out of timeout. This isn't fair. And how did that work out for you, Molly? You're still not going to let me out? This is rude. Ah, I want to get out of here. Let me out. Ah! Molly, you can have more temper tantrums if you like, but then you're going to be in timeout even longer. You're so rude! Why is this happening to me? Ma! I'm not a bad kid and just because I pranked you and it was kind of funny. Molly, you're going to stay there until you can calm down. I'm never going to calm down! Do I look calm to you? Ma! This is making me so mad! <sighs> <sighs> okay. I think I'm done having a temper tantrum now. <sighs> okay, Molly. If you think you're done being a prankster and having your temper tantrums, you can come out and rejoin society. Okay, fine. I'll be good. I promise. Sort of. <laughs> Watch this, guys. This is going to be awesome. Purchased. <laughs> Where'd she go? I want to see this. Who just slimed me? Molly, was that you? M Molly, come back here. Not a chance, lady. I'm out of here. <laughs> Caught you. Back to timeout for you. No! I want to escape, please! Oh, okay, wait. I, I can't escape. It costs me 50 Robux and I'm poor. Let me, let me out of here! No! Okay, I can break the toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I just found out how you escape. Oh. My. Gosh. Guys! I just found an underground maze. What? Underneath Twilight Daycare. Are you kidding me right now? Where's this go? 
This is insane. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just escaped Twilight Daycare on Baby Jail. And guys, I'm just going to spend the rest of the day at the beach chilling without any rolls. This is amazing. I'm having the best day ever. I mean, after I got done having a stomach bug and stuff. Whoa! Look at that rubber ducky! Good thing I just learned how to swim. Rubber ducky, you're so cute. Ooh, and a unicorn? Yes, please. This sounds like my kind of day. <laughs>
Abracadabra, here we go. You can never say no. Whoa, that was really weird. All of a sudden, my vision got kind of funny. Never had that happen before. Hey, Dad, can I get in the pool? You know what your mother said. The answer is yes. Wait a minute. Why did I just say that? I wanted to say yes. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Ah, this is more like it. Ah. I don't understand. I was trying to say yes. I can't say anything but yes. That's so weird. Oh, well, it'll probably go away in a minute, I think. Molly? Molly, why are you in the pool? You were supposed to do your homework. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have to ground you now. No, you can't. Dad said I could get in the pool. What? He did? Absolutely. Now, I was wondering if you could take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone. <laughs> no, I don't think so. How about now? Abracadabra. Here we go. You can never... Never say no! Whoa! What's happening? Whoa! I feel weird! <laughs> Are you okay now, Mom? Yeah, I think so. That was really strange. So what do you say, Mom? Will you take me to the mall later and buy me the newest iPhone? Mm, yes! Yes! I definitely will! Wait a minute. I didn't want to say that. Why is my head nodding? Yes. I, I was trying to say... Mm, mm, yes! Okay. Well, uh, something is definitely going on here, but I don't know what. Uh, I think you're just turning into the nicest mom ever. Okay, I'm going to be in the pool. <laughs> I don't understand. Why can't I say mm, 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 yes? <laughs> well, the spell worked on mom and dad. Let's see if it'll work on Daisy. Daisy, oh, Daisy. I don't know where Daisy is right now. I'm in my room. What do you want, Molly? Um, I was wondering if you could do all of my chores for the entire week. Absolutely not. Have you lost your mind? How about now? Abracadabra. Uh, wait a minute. I can't remember the rest of the spell. Uh, uh. What are you talking about, Molly? Just hold completely still, Daisy. I'm trying something for science. Yeah, that's it. It's part of my homework. Abracadabra. Here we go. You can never... Say no! Okay, Daisy, how do you feel? I feel fine, Molly. How am I supposed to feel? Um, so what do you say? Will you do all of my chores for the whole week? Mm, mm. <laughs> you can't say no! No! What? The spell didn't work on you? Of course it didn't. I've read that spell book that was hidden in the dryer a long time ago. Now, Molly, how about you do my chores for the week? Wait, what? Well, are you going to? N n n yes! Wait, wait a minute! How did you use the spell book on me? I did it, Molly. I memorized the entire spell book. And I cast it on you about five minutes ago when I was on the balcony looking over the pool. <laughs> now go to your homework. Okay. Oh, man. And then when you're done with that, you better take the spell off mom and dad. Oh. And don't use mom's computer. Fine. Oh, this is the worst day ever. And don't ever say the magic word. No. done. Now I can sit down and play a game. Hmm, what should I play? Roblox Piggy, of course. <laughs> I love that game. Computer, why won't you work? Ugh. Molly, don't hit the keys on your keyboard, please. But mom, my computer's not working. Okay, well, we'll have to call the repairman then and see what's going on with it. Oh, man. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, what do you want? Right now I am playing a game. Okay, but can I use your computer for like half an hour? No, of course you can. I love this game. It's so much fun. Every time I play it, I'm like, yay, this is so much fun. It's so much fun. Daisy, you were talking so much right now. I'm like super fast. Slow down for a second. Just shh. Molly, don't tell me to be quiet in my own room. How rude. You could get out now. Really seriously, get out. 
No, Daisy, I need to borrow your computer for like 30 minutes because uh, my brain has melted from doing homework. And, well, it's not working. Your computer's not working? That's because you always bang on the keyboard. If you didn't bang on the keyboard, you wouldn't have that problem. Daisy, can I use your computer? No, I already said that. Now, I have to get back to this super amazing game. Oh, man. Fine. Woo, the brightly colored unicorn. Oh, boy, my new cooking show was sad. Mom said I could watch this. What? No! I was watching TV. I want to watch a brightly colored unicorn. Sorry, Molly. I already got permission to watch this show. What? No! I was watching it first. Molly, she asked like a half an hour ago. Okay, Daisy, but could you watch it after? Because I was already watching the brightly colored unicorn. No! No, I can't. Ugh! You say no to everything! Ugh! Well, I guess I'll work on my unicorn painting since I can't watch TV and I can't play on my computer. Ugh, what's a girl to do? Molly, Molly, ooh, I love your unicorn painting, but I would do it with more purple, of course. Daisy, I didn't ask for your opinion. Well, I think you need it because I'm a better artist than you. I won that award last year at school. Daisy, seriously, get out of my room. Molly, I don't think so. You need my help with this. Oh, M G. Does anybody have a sister like this? Or is it just me? I wish more than anything, Daisy could only say one word, and the word was yes. Whoa, I feel weird. What's happening to me? I I, I feel so weird. Daisy, do you still fear feel weird now? Yes. Okay. Um, can I use your computer? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute, why did I say, say, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, I think my, my wish came, came true. Daisy, can you say anything other than yes? Yes. Okay, let's hear it. Say something other than yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Daisy, are you freaking out? Yes, yes, yes. Girls, what's going on right now? Nothing's wrong. Daisy, you're super fine, right? Yes! 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 Uh, see, Mom? She's totally fine. She's she's 100% cool. Aren't you, Daisy? Yes! <laughs> okay, Daisy. Well, uh, you have to stay out here, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to play your computer. Is that okay? Yes. Ooh! <laughs> My sister can only say one word and it's yes. I'm playing her computer and it's so much fun. Ah! Ah, it's not a word, Daisy. Use a word. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Daisy, do you want to go do my laundry? Yes. <laughs> we'll get going. Stop turning off the lights. Okay? Yes. Okay, now go do my laundry. Yes! <laughs> Don't cry about it, Daisy. You're happy, right? Yes, I'm happy. Doesn't sound like it. Try to sound happier. <laughs> Best day ever. Best day ever. Ooh, I'm kind of getting hungry. When Daisy gets done making me, I'm um, doing all my laundry, she can make me a snack. Daisy, would you make me a snack? <laughs> Daisy, you can't hold it in. You want to say something, don't you? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to make me a snack? Yes. <laughs> Have fun making me that snack. Hey, where'd mom go? She's probably taking a nap, which is best because I don't want her to know my little secret. <laughs> I put a curse on Daisy. Um, I think I'm going to play this game a little longer and then I might go get in the hot tub. I mean, since Daisy's doing everything and has to say yes. <laughs> La 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 la. Ooh, I don't want to play ping pong. I was going to play piggy. That's right. OMG, this is so much fun. Okay, time to go get in the hot tub. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You trying to say something other than yes? Yes. Oh, you made me a hot dog. Ugh, I'm not really happy with a hot dog. Why don't you make me something else? Yes! <laughs> make me some sort of treat. 
Here's the plate. Yeah! Daisy, don't cry, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Yes! Don't you wish sometimes you could make your um sister just say yes to everything? Ah, the brightly colored unicorn's on, and I'm totally relaxed. A watermelon slice! Not good enough! Make me cookies! And actually, I'll take the watermelon slice, too. <sighs> Daisy, stop crying. Seriously, why are you crying? You, you're you having fun, aren't you, Daisy? Yes! <laughs> That'll teach you for being the most annoying sister in the world! Ah, this is the life. Daisy, get going! No! Woo! I said something other than yes! What? No! How is this happening? The spell blew up! Thank goodness! You know what? If this is a spell that works, to write this one on for size, I wish that all Molly could say was yes! What? No! No! Yes! <laughs> it worked, Molly! It worked! Now all you can say is yes. Molly, are you going to go do your homework right now? Uh, yes! Yes! <laughs> Molly has to say yes to everything. You better get going, Molly. There's a lot of homework you'll probably be behind on. Yes! 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 <laughs> Good luck with that. Then when you're done with that, you could do my stinky laundry. Right? Yes! <laughs> Hurry up, Molly. After that, you're gonna make me some cookies, right? Yes! <laughs> you can't say anything other than yes. Don't even try. No, because someone put this spell on me already. Now get going on the laundry. Oh. <laughs> Do yours, then mine. Do everybody's laundry in the whole house. Yes! <laughs> Now you know how it feels to be a yes person instead of a no person. And I'm probably just going to talk a lot and drive you super nuts the entire time. Ah! Okay, so you want me to drive you crazy, right, Molly? Yes! Okay, here we go. So let me tell you what I found out when I was at the mall the other day. Pink is out, purple is in, and I need a new fashion wardrobe. <laughs> yep, you love me talking about this, don't you? Yes! So, I'm going to start off getting new shoes. Then I might get some new pants and shorts. And they're going to be purple with a little bit of white and black, too. Because I, I like to have some neutral colors. And ah! You cannot scream, okay? Yes! Now put the laundry away and um go pay the bills with your allowance. <laughs> Ah, 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 yes! Go do it, Molly. Go do it. Ah. Hurry up, Molly! Why are you being such a slow poke? Yes! Uh-ohs! You don't have enough money. Oh, no. Now you're not going to have any electricity. Life's going to be bad. Daisy! I've had enough of this! <laughs> Wait a minute. The spell wore off. Yeah, now you know how it feels to be cursed to only say one word. Daisy! That's my favorite word as I'm chasing you and trying to tell you you're the most annoying sister ever! Daisy, did you lock me out? Daisy! Daisy! What is going on? What's gotten into you? I have a question. Mom, 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 mom. Okay, what is it, Molly? Um, can I have some ice cream? <laughs> Molly, no, you know it's right before dinner. Of course you can't have ice cream. But I'm hungry. Molly, dinner is in the oven. It'll be ready in 10 minutes. You can wait that long. No, I can't. I'm starving. Mom, help. <laughs> can't wait any longer. Send ice cream! Molly, you're being so dramatic right now. Whoa, Molly, are you okay? What happened? Uh, she wants to eat ice cream for dinner. I'll do a CPR! Dad, no! no! You need to send ice cream, I don't need CPR! 
You look like you might need CPR. Are you dying? Yeah, I'm totally dying without ice cream. It's not fair. I can't eat what I want. Why can't I make my own decisions? Because, Molly, you'd make bad ones. That's why you're a kid and I'm a grown-up. Oh, man. <laughs> look at these adorable dogs. I love this. Dad, um, I can't do my homework. What? Why not? Um, Daisy's watching dog videos on the internet, and, um, I need to use the computer for my homework, so... Guess I don't have to do it tonight! Molly, pff, whatever, you still have to do your homework. Ask Daisy nicely to get off the computer. I'm already off of it, Molly. It's all yours. Nah, I'm just gonna skip it. Molly, no you're not. The answer's no. Go do your homework. Ugh, the answer is always no, it seems. Ay ay ay. Something's wrong with the computer! Molly, you just have to learn how to use it. <laughs> Look at that funny dog! It's smiling! <laughs> Molly, do your homework already. Family, dinner's ready! Huh, fine. I don't know why we can't eat chocolate ice cream instead. Because, Molly, you can't eat chocolate ice cream for dinner. Can I when we're on vacation? No. But, but it's vacation! Well, who cares? Right now it's not vacation, so just eat the cheeseburger I made you, please. It's delicious. I made it out of a veggie patty. What? <laughs> Ew, vegetables? No way! I love Mom's veggie patties. You would, Daisy. You would. Well, Marty, you're still eating it. Of course I am. I'm starving. What else is there to eat around here? Molly, could you stop yelling? You're so loud. Yeah, Molly, why don't you take it down just a notch? Ooh, I want to have ice cream for dinner. What? That, oh, 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 that, that's, that's not fair! Actually, it's very fair. <laughs> I'm a grown-up, so I can eat what I want. Dear, we're supposed to be setting a good example. Yeah, set a good example, Dad. Eat a veggie burger instead. Not a chance. I don't like those. They're gross. Hey, I worked hard on this dinner. Okay, bye. I'm going to watch TV. Uh, if only I could live a life like my dad. Mom! 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 Yes, girls? Oh, it's getting very late. You should get to bed. No, actually, Mom, now that we're done with dinner, I was wondering, can we go swimming in the pool? What? N no! It's almost midnight. You can't go swimming in the pool at midnight on a school night. <laughs> Molly, you're asking such crazy questions. What's wrong with you? Daisy, can I see you in the other room, please? What is it, Molly? OMG! Our parents say no to everything! Yeah, you do have a point there, Molly, but that's because you have crazy questions or crazy requests. But they're still my requests! Why do they have to say no to everything? Can they just say yes to one thing? Either ice cream for dinner or no homework or swimming at midnight? No, we can't say yes to anything, Molly. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Mom, Dad, Daisy and I have decided something. We did? Wait a minute. I didn't know I was a part of this decision. What are we telling them? Wait, I don't want to get in trouble. It was all Molly's fault. Okay, girls, what is it? You guys say no to everything. Well, that's not true. We don't say no to you doing your homework, eating healthy. Exactly. Anything that's fun is off limits. I propose that we have one day that's a yes day. Hmm. I don't know, Dan. That doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Whoa, Molly. You kind of had a good idea for once. I know, right? Tomorrow, um, our parents can only say yes. Do you guys agree? Well, as long as it's nothing dangerous. What do you say, Dan? Oh, I don't see why we couldn't do that. All right, tomorrow is a yes day. Okay, well, it's already tomorrow because <laughs> it's almost 2 a.m. What? Go to bed. Tomorrow's school. Um, no. Tomorrow, I'm not going to school, okay? Oh, all right. Yes, you can stay home. Ha-ha! <laughs> Skip day, skip day, skip day. And also, I'd like to stay up late. It's already late. Go to bed, Molly. Okay, I'll give you that. It is pretty late. But tomorrow, as soon as I wake up, <laughs> everything is a yes. Good morning, parents. Good morning, Molly. You're up pretty early for staying up so late. I'm so excited about today. I don't want the next 24 hours to pass me by while I'm sleeping. 
Wow, maybe every day we should say yes and get you out of bed on time. Yeah, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a mountain of waffles with chocolate ice cream on top. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds super unhealthy, Molly. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, doesn't matter if it's unhealthy. I get to eat it because today is a yes day. So can I have chocolate on top of my waffles? Mm, uh, uh. Okay, yes you can. Ha ha ha! Daisy, you want chocolate on top of your waffle? Absolutely, Molly. I'm still kind of tired. I could use an energy boost. Uh, Daisy, there's no laying on the counter. It's a yes day. You have to say yes, and I want to lay on the counter. Okay, yes, I guess you can. Mm. Okay, now I gotta get the waffle. Okay, let's see. I've got the ice cream. This is a little bit of waffle. Mm hmm. So delicious! Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Waffle, chocolate. Ugh, I ate too much. <laughs> I'm stuffed. What do we got to drink? Ooh, Bloxie, delicious. Molly, don't forget to shut the refrigerator door. I don't have to. It's not my day to do it. Molly. Uh, Mom, I think you should su shut the refrigerator door. Ugh, Molly, really? Okay, I'll do it since it's a yes day. Daisy, are you ever going to wake up? We have important things to do. Come on, I want to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? Well, so far we've had waffles with ice cream. But maybe we should ask for something bigger. Like what, Molly? Like what if we borrow Mom's car? What? She's never going to let us do that. She has to. It's a yes day. Oh, Mom! What is it now, Molly? I'm kind of afraid to ask. Can we um, borrow your car? What? No way. Are you crazy? Uh, Mom, don't forget. It's a yes day. Oh... All right, but be careful, okay? We will! Come on, Daisy! <laughs> I'm gonna ride in Mom's car. I'm gonna ride in Mom's car. It's gonna be super amazing. Ooh, it's beautiful! Mom's car is so amazing. Yeah, except for she has to get that license plate changed. It still says gaming with Dan on it. Yeah, it's totally not Dad's, though. It's Mom's. He never drives it. Molly, it appears to me that you've never driven it all. Okay, I've never driven this car. I'm having a little bit of trouble with it. Ugh, ugh. Okay, I'm on the road. I'm good. Molly, watch out for that bush. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we gotta go over the bridge. Yeah, don't go down into the grass. Let's play some awesome music. P I G G Y. Piggy's after me. I'll be I G G Y. I'll be you. Won't you set me free? Molly, you're all over the road. Turn down the music. You're not paying attention. I'm totally paying attention. Molly, you just took out that sign. Molly, what are you doing? Whoa. 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 Oh my God, Daisy, I just put mom's car in the pool. OMG, Molly, get out. Get out. Daisy, I can't. My door is stuck. Ah! Daisy! I'm going down with the fishes. Molly, there's no fishes in the pool. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be the only fish and I can't breathe underwater. Molly, just hang tight. I'll get out an axe. You just carry an axe around? Yeah, for emergencies, of course. Okay, step back, Molly. I don't know about this, Daisy. Molly, what's your alternative? Going to the bottom of the pool forever? Wait, I'm out! Daisy, you did it! Oh my gosh. Molly, how are we going to tell Mom about our car? Um, well, we could just, like, tell her that, uh... Uh, how can I word it so that she has to say yes, that this is okay? Hmm, let me think about this. We could say to her, um... Mom, you're totally fine with us crashing your Jeep into the, po the pool, right? And she'll have to say yes. That's genius! Mom, you have to be okay with us driving your jeep into the pot i keep saying pond me too marty <laughs> it's pool let's practice again mom you're totally cool with me driving your jeep into the pool right yes i'm totally cool with it ah this should be fine let's go home marty i'm a little nervous she's gonna freak out i don't think so i mean she has to say yes it's still the yes day oh boy this might not go as planned 
Hey, where's your mom's Jeep? I was going to take that to go over to the grocery store. Oh, uh, mom let us borrow it. Oh, she did? Wait, what? She did? Yeah, she had to say yes, remember, because it's yes day? Oh, boy. I can't believe she let you drive her prized Jeep. She sure did. Okay, well, bye. Well, wait a minute. You guys are here and the Jeep's not. Where, where is it? Uh, see you later, Dad. Oh, boy. That didn't go so good with Dad, Molly. How do you think it's going to go with Mom? I have no idea, but we're about to find out. Oh, hey, girls. How was your drive in my Jeep? Uh, it was amazing, Mom. Yeah, totally, except for the end. What do you mean, except for the end? <laughs> I didn't hear you girls pull in. Where, where's the car? Um, uh, Molly, remember what we practiced? Oh, yeah. You're totally okay that I drove your Jeep into the pool, right? What? You what? Oh, my gosh, you drove my... Uh, wait a minute. You, you're kidding, right? <laughs> you're kidding right now, right? <laughs> you're just teasing me, right? You're pranking me? No, Mom, it's a yes day, so you have to be fine that we drove your Jeep into the pool. Wait, you really did drive my Jeep into the pool? Uh, yes? Oh, I don't like yes day anymore. Well, Mom, I can see that you want to take a nap in the kitchen right now, so I know you're really tired from doing the dishes all the time and stuff. Could I have a thousand dollars? What? She's gone insane, Daisy! Well, in her defense, yes day hasn't gone so well for her. Does that mean I can have a thousand dollars? I guess that means yes, since it's a yes day. Thanks, Mom! I got all the cash money! I got all the cash money! Molly, what are you gonna do with that much money anyway? Um Duh! I'm gonna go to the ice cream store and I'm gonna buy all the ice cream in the world. What? Seriously? Don't worry, Mom. I'll bring you back a mint chocolate chip. I know it's your favorite. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna step over you. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We might be able to get your Jeep out of the pool later. But first, we're gonna go to the ice cream shop. Whoa. <laughs> There's Mom's Jeep. Oh, well. It was a nice Jeep while we knew it. Molly, she's not going to be happy tomorrow when that um, Jeep isn't out of the pool yet. Well, if she wants it out of the pool, then she needs to work on getting it out of there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Good thing it's a yes day because we'd be grounded otherwise. Wait, why isn't anybody here? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they'll want their afternoon break. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the money right here. I'm going to take all the ice cream. Seriously, Molly? Yeah, pretty much. You start with some bubble gum. Mmm. So good. Then I'm going to have some birthday cake. Mm. So good. Then I'm going to have some mint chocolate chip. Super delicious. Oh, I forgot about the vanilla. Molly, you're going to get a stomach ache. No, I'm not. I dare you. I can eat more ice cream than you. We'll have to see about that one, Molly. Ooh, chocolate. Mm. Mm. So good. Molly, did you eat $1,000 worth yet? Not even close. Why did we eat all that ice cream? Oh! I know. I'm definitely gonna throw up. Definitely. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Where's there a bathroom? Molly, I don't think there is a bathroom. What? No! Oh! Molly, maybe this yes day wasn't such a good idea. What? Don't talk like that, Daisy. Well, I mean, we drove the Jeep into the pool. We ate too much ice cream. Maybe our parents knew what was good for us all along. What? I'll never, I'll never surrender to that idea. Ever! Molly, I think I'm going to be sick. Uh, uh, me too. Uh, so much ice cream. Molly, get off of me. Why are you laying on me? Sorry. I just, I was trying to get to the bathroom so I could bleh. Ew, Molly, gross. I don't want any more yes days. Never again. I don't know what you're talking about, Daisy. I'm going to have a yes day again tomorrow. Well, you can do it alone, Molly. This is just crazy. Hey, guys. Thanks so much for watching our show today, Brooke. Hi. 
Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. Uh, but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay. Um, You know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because that is the show that's like most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Hmm. This apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Already asked for a new iPhone, and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment. And even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But, Mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you, Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Oh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I, I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly. I agree. Now, remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just I'm just uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to a hundred. What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never going to the grocery store again. 
And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! Yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we won't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't you get, get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending mom's money. I am spending mom's, Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket! Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly! No! You spent the money on a lotto ticket! Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly. You're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault! I don't even know you! You're dead to me! Oh my gosh, my sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy, where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that. I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? <laughs> and then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket. What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly. But you don't even know if it's a winner. Go to your room, Molly. Go right now. Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner, Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? I, 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 Molly, stop talking gibberish. What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a, is that a winning lottery ticket? For a hundred million dollars, Daisy! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom! 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 Molly, I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm gonna have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? 
Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my gosh, is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's dad? Hey, everybody, we won a we met we met we won a hundred million dollars! All of our troubles are over! Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited! I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well, I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion. Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now. I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well, amazing. It's off the hook. And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother. Come on, Daisy. Come see my new sports car. I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh huh, sure, says the girl who put Mom's car on the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapers? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion, we've got nice cars, we have amazing clothes, we have. We have. The newest iPhones. What are we going to do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What, what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew! Why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, wow. That's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa. Uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. <laughs> oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How can I ever repay you? Huh, I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. Don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun down. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. 
Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just gonna leave the bag of cash right here. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? <laughs> Very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible! Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You you were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly. Nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well, I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mayor? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but it's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. W Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well... I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow. Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is um, a get out of detention free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man. Ooh, Hospital 911, my favorite. <laughs> I wonder what's going to happen to Stevie. <sighs> she got hit by a train, and now they're trying to save her life. Ugh, it's epic. Might have to eat a cookie. Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Daisy, get, get out of the way. I'm trying to watch this. I have to vacuum. It's my chores. And then, of course, I'm going to mop, too. Daisy, mop and vacuum somewhere else that's loud. I'm trying to watch my show. You're being so lazy, Molly. Come on, get up. No, I'm not doing anything. I have to eat this donut. Mm. Oh, good. Is that you do, Molly, is eat and eat and watch TV? Pretty much. <laughs> it's the best life ever. Who could that be? Brookie! I should have known. <laughs> Come on in, Brookie. Oh, Molly, you hit me with the door. Sorry, I was really excited to see you. Hey, Daisy. Oh, hey, Brookie, I can't hang out right now. Wait, what? Why? Because she has to clean. Oh, well, maybe we could do something fun afterwards. Do you want to go to the park, Daisy? Sorry, I can't. I have to do lots of studying. Daisy, we don't even have a test tomorrow. Wait a minute. Do we have a test tomorrow? No, Molly. For once, you're actually right. We don't have any homework. Wait a minute. 
We are on a very rare occasion where we don't have homework and my sister wants to do some anyway. Yeah, that is pretty crazy, Molly. Maybe she needs some time off. Daisy, why are you studying and doing homework? Because, Molly, I have to. I have to be the best of the best so I can make all my dreams come true. Um, Daisy, uh, you're an amazing friend and stuff, but taking breaks isn't bad for you, you know. I'm not taking a break! Now leave me alone! Whoa, grumpy. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, guys. Ah, just no one understands me. They don't get why I want to work so hard at everything. Well, uh, if we could get in your brain, maybe we could understand. That's it! Molly, you, you just made me think of something. I did? What is it? I created this secret potion to shrink people down. What? You did? Yeah, in my secret science lab. But I guess it's not secret anymore because I just told you. <laughs> secret science lab. Don't be ridiculous. Well, it's, it's not that big yet, but in my mind, it's amazing. Anyway, I made this potion, and if you drink it, I, I can swing you down. And you could go inside my brain and see how I work, how I tick. Oh my gosh, Daisy, that's insane. Okay, I'm going to go sit on the couch and relax. You guys take the potion and, you know, get inside my brain. This is creepy. This is crazy. Glug, glug, glug. Ooh, you made it taste like orange soda. It's delicious. Molly, not too much. Oh, huh. mm. Molly, if you drink too much, you'll never be a normal size again. Okay, yeah, that would be very bad. <laughs> I don't feel anything. You will, Molly. You will. Whoa! I shrank so much already. I'm shrinking too. Whoa! Okay, Brookie, are you ready? Here goes nothing, Molly. <laughs> this is going to be one crazy trip through Daisy's brain. All right, guys. Time to see how my mind works. Ah! Oh, my gosh, Molly. Hold on. What is this place? I don't know. It looks like some sort of secret room. I don't know. Look, this is, there's, a, there's a laser door over here. Uh, maybe if we push this button, we can get inside. It worked. Well, I guess it's not that secret. Holy guacamole! This is the secret lab she was talking about. Wait, Brookie, did you not get through? I'm coming, Molly. The door doesn't seem to be working quite right. Okay, here, let me see if I can get it from my end. Come on, Brookie! Whoa, look, it, there's a lab worker over there. Well, of course she's going to have minions. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. She's got a rocket... Uh, like a rocket thing that she can ride? And a laser? And oh my gosh, my sister has invented a lot of things. Wow. I think she could take over the world with this. Maybe that's precisely your plan, Molly. I don't know. Daisy doesn't really... Wait a minute. Yes, she does. She would totally take over the world. Oh, this door looks like it's locked. I'll have to find a secret entrance into her secret lab inside her brain. <laughs> Ooh, a maze. Now remember, Molly, we can't touch anything. Or we might mess up Daisy's brain forever. Oh man, that would be a pity. <laughs> Molly, you take it seriously. Okay, fine. Wow, look at this place. Brains. Um, hi. Ah, uh, brains. Did he just say brains? I think he did. Oh my gosh. Is he turning into a... I think he might be turning into a zombie. Ah! No wonder Daisy wants to have this secret lab. She's going to save the entire human race from the zombie apocalypse. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess her work is pretty important. This is why she wants to do her homework all the time. She has to save the human race. Well, let's see if there's any other zombies in here. I don't think I want to go meet any zombies. He wasn't totally zombie yet. What's this? Oh, she does some science experiments in here. OMG! She made a food machine! Whoa! Now my sister should do homework all the time if it means she's gonna make me delicious tacos. Molly, I can't believe the world is gonna be taken over by zombies. Not if we have Daisy on our side. She looks like she's gonna be a brilliant scientist someday. No kidding, Molly. I don't see any other zombies. That might be a good sign. Yeah, it probably is. Whoa, I feel kind of funny. 
Oh no, are you a zombie too? No, I think we're going to the next place in our brain! Molly, you look so different. You look amazing. You look different too. What's going on? Ballet Academy? It looks like Daisy wants to be a famous dancer. Whoa, Jules! Molly, don't touch any of those. We can't collect those in our brain. Remember, we could mess up Daisy forever. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, Ballet Academy. Wow, this place looks amazing. Yeah, and it looks like the place she wants to come to study dance. So, wait a minute. My sister wants to be a famous scientist that saves the world from zombies. And she wants to be a famous ballerina? Well, I guess she dreams big. Holy guacamole, this place is amazing. Ooh, look at all the treats. Ooh, donuts, yes. Um, ooh, what are those? They look like some sort of sweet treat, like a tart. And sandwiches and lemonade. Okay, I can see why she wants to come here. <laughs> I would too. This place looks delicious. Hmm, I want to eat everything. Molly, what are you doing? You can't eat anything in Daisy's brain. But I'm hungry. Molly, that's actually in your brain. You're not actually hungry in here. Well, yes, I am. I'm very hungry. Ooh, look at this dress. This is beautiful. That's probably the one that Daisy wants to wear on her award-winning night. You know, where she wins the medal for, for being the world's best dancer? Wow, she must practice a lot if she wants us to be her dream. I bet she does. She's an overachiever at everything. Let's go check out the dance hall and see what that's like. Okay. Wow, this school is very prestigious. I guess so. Now I understand why Daisy always wants to do the dance competitions. She always wants to practice and she goes to bed early and she makes sure she exercises and she only eats healthy food. <sighs> Her life is exhausting. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to dream big. She's going to do amazing things. Yeah, I think you're right. Whoa! Whoa! I'm being, I'm being tossed around into another part of Daisy's brain! Wait a minute. Daisy has the aquarium on her mind? Yeah, it looks like it. Maybe she really likes aquariums. May I have your attention, please? We're about to do a presentation on ocean conservation. Um, that will begin in 15 minutes. Ocean conservation? What is this place? This is a sad reality. Climate change is killing our beautiful reefs. Oh, wow. Oceans are essential to life on Earth. They cover more than 70% of the planet's surface, regulate the climate, and supply oxygen we need to survive. Key factors contributing to the problem are overfishing, illegal and destructive fishing, as well as climate change. Oh my gosh, I think Daisy also really cares about the ocean and its animals. Huh, yeah, it seems that she does, because she seems to have an aquarium in her brain. <laughs> I knew something smelled a little fishy about her. Oh, very funny, Molly. <laughs> this isn't just a game. It's happening in real life. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I guess I should be more supportive when my sister tries to learn about these things. Oh, look at the cute little fish. Yeah, they're all going to be dead if we don't help. Wow, Rookie, that was harsh. I know, but Daisy has a point. She's working hard to try to make a difference on this planet. Yeah, but it doesn't hurt to have a break once in a while. Well, I take a break if you two would ever get out of my brain. Well, I guess that's our cue to get on out of here. Yeah, before we get big again and then, uh-oh. Yeah, that would be disastrous. <laughs> well, fish, it was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you. Wait a minute. The fish and Daisy's brain talk? Um, yeah, that's a little weird. I don't think it's weird at all. I'm a fish. I'm Jeepers Creepers, Brookie! No wonder Daisy wants to work all the time. She has some really big dreams. Yeah, important ones too. I can't even believe how big her dreams are. Yeah, she's going to have to work really hard. Yeah, Molly, why aren't you getting any bigger? Because she drank too much of the potion. Uh-oh, looks like I'm going to be tiny for a while. <laughs> this could be fun. Do you want me to go inside your brain next, Brookie? No, definitely not. I don't want you to see what's in there. Why? Do you have a lot of earwax in your ears? Ew, no. <laughs>
my stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. Why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, Molly. Huh? What? Huh? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Dizzy, why are you waking me up so early? It's not even 7 o'clock yet. Molly, I need you. Come down here, please. Dizzy, what, what's wrong? It's it's my stomach. It hurts so bad. What? Well, what did you eat something bad last night? Maybe maybe it's from the bean burritos or something. No, Molly, that's definitely not it. I'm serious. You probably just have to fart. Just try. Okay. Ew, Daisy. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah. You told me if I fought it, I'd feel better. And it's a lie. My stomach still hurts. Ew, that's super stinky. I have to get back into bed now, Molly. Oh, I can barely stand up. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Daisy, are you being serious right now or are you pranking me? Molly, I'm not pranking you. <laughs> I want mom. I don't feel good. Okay, I'll go get mom. Mom, mom, mom. Where are you? Mom, Daisy's really sick. Mom? Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning. Mom told me she had to leave early for work today. She's not even here. Oh my gosh, I have to try to take care of Daisy all by myself. Mom? Mom? Wait, where's Mom? Um, she had to leave early for work today, Daisy. What? No, I need my mom. Daisy, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I just don't feel good. I've never felt so sick in my life. Okay, Daisy. Well, uh, I'll think of something. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Wait a minute. If she's that sick, I should probably call an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy is having really bad stomach pains. Oh, well, maybe it's just gas, dear. No, it's not gas! She already farted and it didn't make her feel better. Oh, okay, well, does she have any other symptoms? DC, do you have any other symptoms? Who are you talking to? 911. 911? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm afraid. She says she's afraid and doesn't want to go to the hospital. Well, tell your sister, sometimes going to the hospital is the best thing you can do because they can help you there. I heard her and I don't care. I want to stay home. Okay, um, my sister's really sick. I don't want her to overhear this, but send an ambulance right away. Okay, dear. Thank you for calling. We'll send an ambulance right away. Molly, what are you saying? Um, nothing. I, I think you should just rest, okay, Daisy? I have to go get dressed now. Why, Molly? Um, I just do. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to be so mad when she sees that I, I called an ambulance, but I think she really needs one. Molly? Maybe I just need to have some Pepto-Bismol. Uh, Daisy, I'm not so sure that that's going to help. It looks like you're starting to run a fever now, too. Oh, wait. I hear somebody outside. Is that an ambulance I hear? Um, uh, no. Molly, you better not have caught an ambulance. Oh, yeah. She's totally going to be super mad at me about this one. But it's for her own good. Hi there. I'm Paramedic Smith. Uh, where's the patient? She's right this way, but she's really angry that there, there's a person here to take her by ambulance. Okay, well, I work for EMS, so um, I'm just going to see if I can talk her into going to the hospital, because it sounds like maybe she needs to go. Yeah, good idea. Daisy, someone's here to see you. It better not be a... Oh my gosh, it's a paramedic! Oh, my stomach! Okay, sweetheart. All right, Molly, why don't you stand back over there, okay? I'm going to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, Daisy, why don't you tell me what your symptoms are, honey? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Daisy, you don't want to get sick and die, do you? No, not really. Your sister's right. The hospital can help you. We have doctors and specialists there who will know exactly why your stomach hurts so much. And um, you have a pretty high temperature, so I'm going to need to take you in the ambulance. I'll be with you every step of the way, Daisy. Every step! I can't believe you called 911, Molly. Well, what would you have me do, Daisy? I mean, you're sick. You have to go to the hospital. 
Fine, man. Whatever. Daisy, I care about you. I'm really worried. Something is definitely not right. I know, Molly. That's why I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, well, hi there. How can I help you? I'm just waiting for my sister to be wheeled in. She's having horrible stomach pain, doctor. I will take super good care of your sister. What's your name? Molly, and my sister's name is Daisy. Well, don't worry about a thing, Molly. We're going to fix your sister up. Thanks, because... I'm really worried about her. Okay, Daisy. Thank you for being the most difficult patient in the entire world. Whatever, paramedic. Just drop me in the bed already. Daisy, no need to be rude. Well, ow, my stomach hurts. I can't help it. I'm telling you, it's probably just gas, but it's better to check it out. Ugh, that paramedic tried to give me a ride back out into the hall. I told her it wasn't even my break time yet. Oh, sorry, but your doctor has a good sense of humor. What a great bedside manner you have. Oh, thank you. Okay, Daisy, you have quite a high fever and stomach pain. I'd like to give you an x-ray. I want my mom! Don't worry, Daisy, I already called mom. She's rushing here right now. Okay, Daisy, I just need you to get right inside the x-ray machine. Excellent. It's really loud in here! Sorry about that, the machine is a little noisy. Okay, doctor. Tell it to me, Sue, wait. What's happening to me? Am I going to go to the to the other side? The other side of what? <laughs> the hospital? No way. No, is it? Am I going to die? Oh, wow. Well, I can see exactly what the problem is. What is it? You have appendicitis. Appendo what? I don't want to have a panda in my stomach. Oh, no. Not a panda. A Appendicitis. Yeah, precisely. A panda in my stomach. No, 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 no. Uh, you have something in your body called an appendix. And, well, yours is not working right, so we need to take it out. What? I need my appendix. No, you don't need your appendix, really. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for you, except for be annoying. I don't want to have surgery. This is the worst day of my life. Daisy? Daisy? Mommy! <laughs> I was so scared without you! Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Everything's gonna be okay, I promise. They say I have appendicitis. I know, honey. You are gonna have to have your appendix out. I don't want to! That's scary! It's gonna be okay, Daisy. I know it is. Easy for you to say. You get to keep your appendicitis. Oh, honey, it's your appendix. Appendix. I want to call it a panda, okay? Okay, Daisy, whatever you say. Oh, look, Daisy, I think they're going to be coming to take you to your surgery now. Mom, I could just stay here. Oh, my stomach! And live with your stomach like this? I don't think so, honey. You need to have this surgery. Everything will be okay. Here comes the doctor now. Okay, time to get that appendix out. It's Daisy Voorhees! Oh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, uh, you really do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Except for I think this one kind of scared my sister a little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy town. Okay, Daisy, this might pinch a little, but it's anesthesia, which means you'll fall asleep and you won't feel any of your operation. I don't like shots very much. It'll only hurt for just a second. Ready? Okay. All done. All right. Now you should start counting backwards from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, the patient is out. Time to take out her appendix. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just running back and forth. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Daisy right now. Molly, everything's going to be fine. I promise, honey. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Molly, sit down, please. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. Mom, is Daisy going to wake up or is she in a coma? No, Molly, she's not in a coma. She's just coming out of anesthesia. Let's go again. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Why is she laughing hysterically? 
Um, well, sometimes people do funny things when they're coming out from anesthesia. Daisy, are you awake? I'm gonna eat all the ice creams with pickles on top. <laughs> I'm gonna ride a unicorn through the sky. <laughs> and I like cheese doodles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've only got one thing to do. Mm, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Mm, sorry, I'm on my lunch break. But I wanted to come in and tell you guys that, well, everything went well. Great. <laughs> I can't wait to make a video about this. I love unicorns and I'm going to fly on board where I eat ice cream with pickles. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, Daisy, <laughs> you are so out of it. It's fabulous. I'm just glad that Daisy is completely okay. Me too. And I'm glad that I can show all the YouTube fans how cray cray Daisy acts when she's coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I want to laugh too. <laughs> oh, Daisy, you're not going to like this video at all. <laughs> These America's Funniest videos are so funny. Molly, I think that's kind of the point is that they're supposed to be funny. Yeah, but sometimes I watch shows and I'm like, this isn't even funny. But this one is totally funny. Hey, Brogy, you want some popcorn? Really? You'd share your popcorn with me? You never share your snacks with anyone. Yeah, I'm kind of a pig when it comes to eating snacks. But you're my best friend and so I'll share the popcorn with you. I don't mind. Wow, Molly, <laughs> I can't believe how long we've been best friends. I know, right? We've been BFF since, uh, uh, since preschool. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brookie. What's your name? <laughs> Are you in time out? No. Then what's the problem? Aren't you having fun? No, I'm not having fun. I miss my mommy. I want to go home. Oh, well, I'm not your mommy, but my name's Pricky. What's your name? My name's Molly. Hi, Molly. Maybe we could be each other's friends and we could have fun at daycare together. I want to have fun with anyone. I want my mommy. Yeah. I'll give you a hug if it makes you feel better. Really? You will? You're not my mommy. Yeah, but I could be your best friend. Here, you could also have this hippo. You could hug him too and make you feel better. Aw, it does make me feel a little better. My name's Molly, if I didn't tell you already. I'm, I'm Brookie, like I said, and I think we could be really good friends if you want. I want to be your friend, because you seem really nice. You seem sad, but I bet you're really nice too. Yeah, I, I'm nice. We could be best friends till we're old. Whoa, old is a long way away. Yeah, but we should be best friends until then. I agree. We could be best friends through all of school. And we could have adventures together. Yeah, that sounds fun. Do you want to go home anymore? Nah, I want to stay here with my best friend. Aw, that's sweet. Wow, we really have been friends forever. Yeah, almost close to forever. Hey, I've got to tell you something, Brookie. What is it, Molly? Well, I actually have to show you something. Stay here. I'll be right back. She's going to be so surprised when she sees this. <laughs> I bet she's totally forgotten about it. Now, where is it? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Her cute little hippo that she gave me way back in preschool. Come on, elevator. There, <laughs> it wasn't working. What is it? Oh, my hippo! You still have it all these years later? Yeah, I think it's time to return it to its owner. It's given me a lot of comfort over the years. Oh, hi, hippo! Oh, I love my hippo! I totally forgot that you had it all these years. Yeah, I got it from my BFF, so I kept hippo nice and safe. Aw, oh, Molly, this is so sweet. Thanks for inviting me over today, bestie. No problem, Brookie. Anytime. Well, I better get home. I've got a lot of homework to do. Ugh, boring. See you later, Molly. Bye, Brookie. 
Brookie is such a cool girl. I'm so glad she's my bestie. Uh, I should probably get some fresh air. <laughs> Maybe ride my bike or something. Whoa! Someone's moving into that giant mansion next door. Like seriously, it's a mansion. Whoever lives there must be rich. I should probably go say hi. Moving you in. <laughs> knock, knock. Anybody home? Hello, is anybody there? Is anybody home? Oh, hi. You must be one of the new neighbors. I'm Brittany. Can I come in? Sure, just push the door open. My hands are a little full right now. Hi, I'm Molly. Where'd you go? Sorry, I just have to go back down to the moving truck. I'll be right there. <laughs> Literally looked like she flew to the moving truck. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Wow, your house is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> My parents have a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I guess so. So, what's the school like here? Oh, I think you'll like Brookhaven High. It's pretty nice. Cool. So, uh, you want to hang out? Aren't you busy? Nah, this can wait. And besides, our butler can help me. Your butler? Holy guacamole. Are you a Billie Eilish fan? Totally. I love her music. You should see me in a crown. Ooh, I love that song. Um, so you want a snack? Ha 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 ha! Thought you'd never ask. Come on. We have tons of stuff in our fridge. Tons of treats and stuff. Ooh, treats. You're speaking my language. So what do you want? Ice cream, pizza, Reese's, uh, anything you want. Ooh, double scoop of ice cream. Mmm. Bring. This is delicious. It's gourmet. Our chef makes it at home with an amazing hand-turned ice cream machine. Whoa. That sounds fancy. And wait a minute. Did you just say you have a chef? Yeah. We can call on our chef anytime to make us anything we want. Holy guacamole. You live a really charmed life. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But most important thing are my favorite people. Really? Could I be one of your favorite people? It seems like you could. You seem really cool, Molly. And since we're neighbors, we should probably be BFFs. Don't you have a BFF from your old town? No, I was, well, not very popular at my old school. Really? But you're really funny and nice and, well, you seem super cool. Yeah, I don't know. My old school was kind of lame. <sighs> my parents had to pay a million dollars for me to go there a year. Whoa! Holy guacamole! Yeah, but I think it was a waste of their money. I'd rather go to public school because people there just seemed so rude to me. Wow. Mm, this ice cream's great. Want to see my room? Well, it's totally not completely unpacked yet. But you can see it if you want. Yeah, I'd love to. Wow, her room is probably amazing. Come on, let's go up the elevator. Well, here it is. Oh my guacamole! It's like you've got a New York City style loft apartment up here. Is this your own bathroom? Yeah, that's pretty posh, right? Totally. Brittany, I was thinking maybe we should be BFFs. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Hey, Molly. <laughs> I came home and did my homework, and I thought maybe we could hang out again because we're BFFs. Um, sorry, Brookie, I'm busy. Busy? I could help you with your, like, chores or anything. I don't mind. I mean, you shared your popcorn with me. Molly, who is that? Come on, don't you want to spend time with me? Uh, Brookie, I'm here with my BFF right now. I can't talk. <laughs> what? I'm your BFF. What are you talking about? No, um, I'm sorry, but you can just be my regular friend because uh, my next door neighbor, Brittany, is really cool and I've decided she's my BFF. Are you serious, Molly? We've been best friends since preschool. What are you talking about? Um, I'm really sorry, but the phone's breaking up. C -c Can't hear you. Molly, I know you're making those crackly sounds. I'm coming over. No, don't do it. Okay, okay, she hung up on me. Who was that? It was my ex-BFF. Wait a minute, you had a best friend before me? Uh, yeah, but she means nothing to me! You're everything, Brittany! You're everything! Seriously? The only fun thing you could find to do with your new BFF is hang out in the bathroom? What, do you have to fart or something? Whoa, Brookie, what's going on with your face? Uh, Molly, that's the look of jealousy. Are you jealous that we are BFFs and you're no longer her BFF? Yeah, I am, because Molly's been my BFF since preschool, and we're best friends. Um, okay, I can see you guys are going to fight over me now.
now, right? Well, I'm not going to fight because I'm just going to, I'm going to challenge you to a competition to see who her best friend really is. Oh, okay. Um, well, how about a dance competition? Good, fine. Let's do it. Maybe we should come out of the bathroom, though. <laughs> There's a lot more space out here, guys. All right, um, I guess let the dance competition begin. Oh, yeah? You think that's a good dance move? I don't think so, Brittany. I can do that in a heartbeat. Wow, you guys are really gonna fight over me. I'm not sure if I should be afraid or flattered. Watch this dance move, but you can't do this. Oh, yeah? I totally can do that. dance all day yeah until one of us drops over guys stop 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 this is insanity look I, I, I want you to both be my friends molly are you serious we just had a flashback together at the beginning of this video yeah that was pretty special that's because we've been friends forever best friends are built on years of getting to know one another being there for one another. You've known this girl for five seconds! Okay, I guess you're right. I, I got a little starry-eyed about all the snacks at her house. Oh, Molly, you're always thinking about your stomach. Wait a minute, are you saying that Molly only likes me because I have snacks? No, Brittany, I'm saying that I know Molly enough to know that sometimes her stomach thinks more than her brain. OMG, you do know me the best, you do! I do. Look, Brittany. Bookie is my best friend, but I want you to be my friend. And maybe over time, you both can be my BFFs. But best friends takes time. I understand, Molly, and I still want to be your friend. And maybe, Brookie, if you don't hate me too much, we could be friends too. Oh, I don't know about that, Brittany. Come on, Brookie. I know you. You're a kind person. Let Brittany into your heart. Yeah, I guess. But don't try to steal my best friend again! Whoa! <laughs> Don't mess with Brookie. <laughs> you guys, we could have so much fun today. There's a lot of snacks here. Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's go eat some. <laughs> this is so awesome. All of my toys are out in the living room. I love this. <laughs> Look at this adorable cat. Meow, 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 meow. Woo! Fine, fine. That's right, baby Kara. It is fun. It's not really that messy. I did a papa. Yes, messy, messy. Ooh, fun, fun. Yeah, okay. It's a little messy, but it's super fun. I play. Whoa! What's this huge mess in the living room for, Molly? What? What? What's this? What do you mean, huge mess? Molly, you put all of your toys out into the living room. Mom's going to be mad at you. She always says, keep your toys in the in your bedrooms, please. Don't make a mess in the common areas. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to clean it up, Daisy. Yeah, wait, right, Molly. You better clean it up right now. No way, Daisy. You're not my mom. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, Molly, I'm just warning you. Mom's going to be mad. Mad about what? Girls, who made this giant mess? We all did, Mom. Molly, that's not true. Yeah, it is, Mom. Everybody made a mess. Well, I told you girls to keep your toys in your room. Ugh, the last time you girls played out in the living room like this with all of your toys, I had to pick it up after work at midnight. I know, Mom, but this time we're going to be super good about it. We promise. Fine, fine. Okay, well, I'm going to run an errand. When I get back, I want you girls to have all of these toys picked up. Okay, Mom, sure, we'll do it, we promise. Okay, well, I hope so. Molly, you said I pulled all these toys out. No, I didn't. This was all your idea. And you shouldn't tell people fibs. Naughty, naughty. Well, I'm sorry, but um, I figured you just want to play with these toys, so you'd be partially to blame. No, Molly, I don't want to play with the toys. And you can't hold baby Kira responsible. She's a baby. Speaking of a baby, come on, baby Kara, it's time for your nap. No, do, 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 ba, ba, no, no. Yes, baby Kara, do you want to sit in time out? No. 
Okay then, come on. It's time for your nap. I'm gonna give my baby sister a nap and then... Um, yeah, I've got stuff I gotta do. Go on. Get in your bed. 99, sleep tight. Have a good nap, baby Kira. You're so cute and cuddly. But go to sleep. Good night. Yeah, night night. Oh, I have this huge mess to clean up. Nobody wants to do that. That's not even fun. Hot tub time! And the brightly colored unicorn's on! Yes, best day ever. I'll clean up that mess later. Ah, so relaxing. Look at me just chilling in the hot tub. Molly, did you pick up that mess yet? Uh-huh, yeah, sure, sure I did. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Molly, no you didn't. I'm looking at that cute mess right now. Stop watching TV, stop being in the hot tub, and go clean up your giant mess. Oh, Daisy, I'll clean it up later. Don't nag me. Molly, I'm only nagging you because you're not listening. Uh-huh, sure, sure you are. Get out of there, Molly. Fine, I'll clean it up. Go in your room or something. Fine, Molly, I'm not helping you. I didn't make the mess. Okay, cool. Finally, my sister's gone. Oh, I'm starving. Better have a snack before I clean up that mess. Let's see, what should I have? Um, ooh, fruit smoothie, a pear, an orange. Some cereal, that sounds delicious. I'm gonna have some Roros. <laughs> Just gonna pour this into the bowl. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. I like it with some milk on it. Well, I mean, I don't know how else you would eat your cereal. It's not like you'd pour soup on it. Mmm. <laughs> These burros are delicious. Mmm, yeah. Ah, oh, now I feel awesome. Time to go play on my computer. Molly, did you clean that up? 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 Oh my gosh, my sister is annoying. Molly, you didn't even clean it up and now you're playing a game. Mom's gonna be home soon and she's going to say, Molly, you're grounded. No, 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 I've got plenty of time. She won't be home anytime soon. Molly, yes, she will be home. She will be home very soon. Uh-huh, sure. Oh my gosh, oh, I've got to beat this boss. Molly, stop playing that video game. Fine, I'm going to my room. I'm not responsible for you, Molly. That's right, Daisy, you're not. You're definitely not. Hey, what's going on here? Daisy, come back here right this instant. What, well, Mom, what did I do? Molly, you come here too, please. Um, okay, um. Well, Mom forgot to close the door. I'm gonna close it. That way we don't have anybody wandering in here. Molly, what is this mess? Daisy, what is this mess? <gasps> Daisy, I put the toys away and then you took them back out. Daisy, that's very naughty. You're grounded for a whole week. But, but I, 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 uh. No, I don't want to hear it, Daisy. Go to your room. Molly, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just playing on my computer, being a good kid and all that. Okay, well, I guess I'm cleaning this all up. Yeah, sorry about that, Mom. Oh, oh boy, I almost got caught. That would have been horrible. Too bad my sister got caught. Ah, oh, there's such a huge mess here. Can't believe that Daisy didn't listen. That's so unlike her. Mom, I I need to talk to you, please. Oh, Daisy. I know that this is the first time you've been bad, really, in a long time. But you really are grounded, honey. I'm sorry. But it wasn't the truth. What do you mean it wasn't the truth? I mean, I I, I didn't do this. You you didn't. But, but Molly said you did. But she was lying. I didn't. I... I didn't make the mess in the first place, and I didn't make it the second time. It was Molly, and when you left, and she said she would clean it, she didn't. She got in the hot tub, 
And then she played on the computer and stuff and she didn't do it. <gasps> she didn't? Okay, Daisy, I'm sorry that I didn't listen to you the first time. I'll go find Molly and you're not grounded. Thank you, Mom, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Daisy, thanks for telling me the truth. <laughs> I love this game, it's so fun! Molly, I have a question for you. Okay, Mom, but I'm playing this game right now. Um, no, you're not. Uh-oh. This sounds serious, Mom. What is it? Did you lie about Daisy making that mess? Um, the... Molly, don't lie. Um, yes. Molly, I'm so disappointed in you. You know better than that. I know, I just panicked because, well... Well, I didn't want to get in trouble and I was just having fun and I didn't want to have to pick it up. But is it fair that I should have to pick it up? Or your sisters when you've made the mess? Or dad? Um, yes? No, Molly, the answer is no. It's not fair that we should have to pick up your messes. Now, I want you to pick up your mess and you're grounded. But mom, the carnival's this weekend! And if you can be a good girl by then, maybe I'll consider lifting your grounding. But until then, you're grounded. Oh, this is horrible! Yep, it sure is, Molly, but you're the one that put yourself in this boat. Oh, I've got to clean up all these toys and I'm grounded. And Molly, I really hope you um consider being good because you want to be able to go to the carnival, right? Uh, yeah, I do want to go to the carnival. Well, then I think you should be on your best behavior. <laughs> oh, look at this octopus. It's so cute. Molly, you're not supposed to play with the toys. Put them away, please. Okay, I'm putting them away. Molly, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly, don't think about dinner right now. Just go clean, okay? But, Mom, cleaning is boring. I know it's boring, but if you make the mess, then you're the one that has to clean it up. Okay, Mom, I guess you're right. That's good, Molly. I'm glad you see things my way. <laughs> yeah, moms always have their way, and basically, you have to follow them. Well, that's just because we're keeping you safe and we're teaching you so you can grow up to be good people. Yeah, I know. It's just hard having to do all these chores sometimes. Hey, Toy Hero fans. So, I kind of got grounded for being naughty. But I'm going to be on my best behavior so I can go to the carnival this weekend. And guys, if you want to see what's happening with my Roblox family, make sure you subscribe to all four of my channels. Well, our family channels. I just have one channel. And my sister has a channel too. So, the channels are the Toy Heroes, the Toy Heroes Games, Gaming with Molly and Gaming with Daisy. Oh, I really wish that I hadn't um, just, just slacked off and not done any of my chores. Molly, what are you doing right now? Uh, sitting on the couch talking to the Toy Hero fans. Molly, you're supposed to be cleaning that up. Oops. Okay, guys, I really got to go because I've got to clean up all this mess. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>
I can't eat any breakfast. Well, Marty, breakfast is the healthiest way to start the day. Yeah, okay, Daisy, if you say so. Ugh, I hope she doesn't come in here. Huh, <sighs> maybe a nice relaxing bath will make me feel better. <coughs> Achoo! Uh, I think I definitely have a cold. Molly, Molly, open up! Time for school! Now I have to go to the bathroom before we go. Occupied, Daisy! Occupied! Molly, you've been in there for 30 minutes! Daisy, I just got in here. Molly, open up! Open up! Open up! Uh, does anybody else think it's weird that there's a spotlight in the bathroom? What are we, putting on a performance or something in here? La, 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 la! Okay, I think that's totally weird. Okay, that's the weirdest light in a bathroom I've ever seen. Molly, open up! Can I go to the bathroom now? Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Whatever, Daisy. I'll just relax here till she gets back. <coughs> Achoo! Molly, are you seriously seeping again? Huh? No, no. Well, Molly, what's wrong with you? I told you I don't feel good, Daisy. I don't believe you. You're such a faker. I'm not faking, Daisy. Come on, let's go to school. Whoa, she's grumpy. She woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. How come I'm so much bigger than this car? I can't, I can't take this car anyway. He's too tiny anyway, Molly. Okay, let's see. To school we go. Molly, please seem a little cheery about it because right now you seem like the grumpiest sister in the whole world. Oh, I told you already. <coughs> Achoo! I think I'm sick. Well, you are sneezing a lot, Molly. I know. Totally. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. A boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, boom, boom. Daisy, turn that noise down. Oh, Molly, you sound like a grumpy old guy. Oh, you know who's like, turn down that racket and get off my lawn. <laughs> Santa, I know him. Ho, 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 ho. I'm on vacation until next Christmas. See, I'm in my swim trunks. Santa! I really want a pony for Christmas. Daisy, he's on vacation. Leave him alone. Jeepers creepers. Dun da dun 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 dun. School. Ugh. Molly! Don't be such a grumpy Gus. I guess my first class is computer lab. Oh, let's see what's going on today. Okay, my computer doesn't seem to be working. Hello? Computer? <coughs> Molly, could you please stop coughing on um, my computer? That's not nice. Well, <coughs> it's not like I can help it, Daisy. I told you. Huh? Huh? Molly, don't you dare sneeze on my keyboard. Huh? Okay, I'm holding it in. Thank you, Molly. Achoo! Molly! Why are you sneezing on my keyboard? Rude. Oh, I had to put on this mask so I don't get sick. Seriously, Daisy? You didn't believe me that I was sick this morning, and now you're putting on a mask? Well, I thought about it, Molly, and with all you sneezing and coughing, I think you're definitely sick. Oh, funny. Very funny. You should get out one of those masks, too. I don't know where they are. But I sure could use a sandwich. Molly, you can't eat a sandwich in, um, computer lab. Well, watch me. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. I don't have one of those fancy masks. Sorry, Molly. It stinks to be you, I guess. Daisy, that was rude. Oh, I don't feel so good, Daisy. Well, Molly, maybe you should go to the school nurse. No, I don't want to go to the school nurse. But Molly, she'll have you lay down and maybe you'll feel better later. Or maybe she'll send you home. Ah, uh, okay. 
Come on, Molly, I'll walk you, Dale. Really? Yeah, it seems like you need a friend right now. And a good sister. Well, I'm glad you believe me that I don't feel good. Yeah, Molly, come with me. Come to the school nurse. Ugh. It's getting worse, Daisy. Ah, It's definitely getting worse. Hi, we're here to help my sister. Hey, students. How are you today? Well, not so good. Not so good at all. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, what what seems to be the problem? It's not with me. It's with my sister Molly. I'm just here for moral support. Yeah, she's here for moral support. Okay, well, what's what's wrong? I'm all at you! Sneezy and <coughs> coffee and, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, man. Sounds like maybe you should go see the doctor. Or maybe she should go into the hospital. Um, I don't know about that. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Nope, definitely not going in there. Molly, maybe you need it. No, I can just see the nurse. I'll be fine. Hi, Molly. What brings you to my office? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my my stomach is to, uh, starting to hurt. And, um, well, I I have a cough and, and I have a runny, stuffy nose and I keep sneezing. Oh, that sounds terrible, Molly, but I don't hear you sneezing or coughing now. Are you sure you're not okay? No, I'm really not okay. I think I might go lay down in one of these cribs. <sighs> Molly, you're not supposed to be in a crib. Get out of there. I just need to lay down. I don't feel good. <coughs> Achoo! Whoa, you do sound like maybe you have a cold. Okay, why don't you go sit right over there? Okay, I will. It's really nice to see you, Molly. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Would you like me to help heal you? Yeah, but then I think you should probably send me home. Okay, well, I'm giving you some medicine now for your cold, and then I can call your mom if you want, and she can come get you. I think that's probably best. Achoo! I definitely, I definitely don't feel good, Dr. Hart. Okay, well, I need you to go next door and lay down on the cot until your mom gets here. Okay. Molly, what did you find out? Molly! Molly, come back here. I'm talking to you. Molly! Okay, I want to lay down, but I don't I don't understand how. Huh. Molly, what happened? Well, I saw the school nurse and at first she didn't believe me just like you. And then she said, um, she said, tell me how you don't feel good. And I told her. Here, take this magic healing apple, Molly. Thanks, Daisy. And then basically, um, I started coughing and sneezing, and she gave me some medicine. She said she was going to call Mom. I think that's probably a good idea, Molly, and I'm really sorry that um, basically I didn't believe you and asked you to come to school. It's okay, Daisy. It's okay. I love you. You're the best sister, and okay, not always the best sister, but you're a pretty good sister. Hey, I think I'm the best sister. I wouldn't go that far, Molly, but, you know, seriously, I hope you feel better. Thanks, Daisy. Me too. Me too. Toy Hero fans, don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel so basically you can see where Molly gets battle. Yeah, and we have lots of fun at this cha huh? Achoo! channel too. Huh. Okay, guys. If you could say get well soon in the comment section below, that would be really nice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Good morning, girls. I'm just about to make breakfast. Oh, boy, Mom, can we have pancakes? Sorry, Molly, I don't have the ingredients for pancakes this week. But, Mom, I really want pancakes. Come on, it's summer vacation. Yeah, that sounds really good, Mom, please. I'm sorry, girls. Uh, there, There's no pancake mix, and I don't have money for that this week, okay? Fine. Dizzy, why are you just staring at the empty TV screen with nothing on it? Well, I'm imagining that we had cable. What do you mean? We, we don't? No, girls, I'm sorry. Your dad and I are trying to save money, so um, we decided to take the cable out. There's still the news station, though. The news station? Who wants to watch that garbage, Mom? Oh, that's so boring. Wait a minute. 
Is that a leftover piece of pizza? Mine! I claim it! Mmm, so good, Mom. You make the best homemade pizza ever. Molly, that's weird to eat that for breakfast. I think it's delicious. Mmm. So, Daisy, would you like some oatmeal for breakfast? No, I'm not really even hungry. <sighs> I wish we could go with everyone else somewhere today. What do you mean? Where is everyone going? Oh, everyone in our school and their families are going to the water park in Brookhaven. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. Uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's like $50 a person. Per person? Per family? That's right, Mom. So it would be about $200 for us to go. $200? What's the school crazy? We can't afford that. Oh, Mom. Come on, can't we go, please? You must have a little bit in your um in your wallet or something, right? I only have like three dollars, and I have to use that for gas money to get to to my job, girls. Like, I don't have two hundred dollars to take you to the water park. This is the most terrible summer ever. It's just I hate being poor. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like a horrible mom. I wish I could afford to take you girls to the water park. Molly, come here, please. What? I'm pouting in my room. What do you want? No, I'm going to pout in the bathroom. Molly, come out here, please. What? You made Mom feel really sad. I'm really sorry, girls, that I can't give you more things. Like, you know, expensive tickets to water parks and, and beautiful clothes, but... I love you more than anything, and I always make sure you have a roof over your head, even if it leaks a little. And, and, and I have food in your belly, even though it's not always exactly what you want. I always make sure that you know that I love you so much, and I hope someday you'll know that that's enough. I didn't want to tell you girls this. I wanted it to be a surprise, but since you're so sad about the water park, I guess I'll tell you now. We're going to Disney? Whoa, Mom, this is amazing! Molly, she didn't say we were going to Disney. Ay, ay, ay. No, your dad and I managed to save up to take you girls to the ice cream shop. Wait, what? That's all we're doing all summer? Ugh, I knew you wouldn't be very impressed. It's all we can afford, girls. We're only getting ice cream one time this summer. Ugh, oh, working three jobs is just killing me. Ugh. Oh. I've been working on cutting down all these trees to make lumber all day, and it's exhausting. Well, I guess now's the perfect time to get that ice cream, Dad, since you look really hot. I am. It's 100 degrees outside. Wait, you told the girls about our surprise trip? Well, I had to. They wanted to go to the water park, and we can't afford to send them, even though they're the only ones at school that aren't going to be able to go. Oh... We failed as parents. No, you didn't. We're happy that we get to eat ice cream, right, Daisy? Yeah, I'm going to get my favorite. But only one scoop. It's all we can afford. Okay, well, let's get going, guys. Come on, girls, get in. Dad, are you sure you don't just want to walk? I mean, your car has a habit of actually not getting us anywhere, ever. It's always breaking down. Yeah, and it smells like a rotten egg fart. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't smell that bad. Yes, it does, Dad. It literally smells like a giant fart. What's wrong with your car? Uh, the girls do have a point, honey. It does smell pretty bad. Well, hopefully it just gets us there. That's all I care about. Uh, Dad? I smell something really funny. Oh, sorry. That was me. <laughs> Leftover pizza. Does it to me every time. Uh, maybe it wasn't your car that smelled like a rotten egg fart. Maybe it was Molly this whole time. Ew, Molly. What? What? We have money to go through the car wash? No, it's free car wash day. We need to take care of that smell. But, Dad, we're... Ah, we're getting soaked, Dad! Well, you're the one that I think is making it smell like a rotten egg fart, so, Molly, you need a bath. We could all use a bath. The water's not running at the house real well these days. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I got soap in my hair! I think that's kind of the point, Dad. <laughs> Not only does the car get washed, we do too! Free baths for everyone! Now that we're all clean and smell good, we can go into the ice cream shop. I can't believe it! The car actually made it this time. 
<laughs> Let's see, what kind of flavors do I want? Remember, Molly, just one scoop. It's all we can afford. Oh, well, I'm definitely getting my favorite mint chocolate chip. Mm, that's so good. So good. Mm. Whoa, who's that? They're pulling up in a limo, Daisy. Whoa, they look so rich. I bet they're the rip richest people in all of Brookhaven. Ooh, I'm going to get a scoop of everything. Then I'm going to go to the Louis Vuitton store and buy five new purses. Oh, honey. <laughs> Slow down with all this spending of our money. Just kidding. We're billionaires. You can have anything you want. Whatever makes your heart happy. Oh, dear. You're so sweet. Wow. Wonder what it's like to be that rich. Yeah, Molly, me too. I can see it now. This is gonna be the perfect spot for my new mansion. Let's see, which mansion do I want? I am so rich, I can have anyone I every anyone I want, really. Um, it just depends on the the one I think is the cutest. Oh, MG, this one's really cool. This is the one I'm gonna have in Brookhaven, but I'm also gonna have one in Hawaii. And I'm going to have one in Malibu, so this is just my Brookhaven one. Wow. Look at my new house. It's amazing. I'm so rich that I had an architect build this house completely off center. Look at it. <laughs> it's like I'm falling down no matter where I am in the house. This house cost me $4 million. It was worth every, every penny. Sometimes I just lay money down as my pillow. And I, I sleep on it because that's how rich I am. Like, I can make money into pillows. Sometimes I even take a bath in money. I'm so rich. I'm so rich. Stacks of cash. Stacks of cash. I got me stacks of cash. I think I'm going to go buy a fancy sports car, like, right now. What kind of sports car would I want? I could buy a school bus. Yeah, I'm going to buy a school bus and a sports car because that's kind of funny. Ooh, look at this. I really like this. Okay, I'm buying that. It's like not letting me. Okay, fine. I'll try this sports car then. This one's better than that pink one anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at my new car. Oh, I'm so rich. It's just like the best thing in the world. Ah, time to go to the beach. Ah, as soon as I learn how to drive. Whoa, I totally ran into my new house. Oh, well, I'll just buy a new garage if I ruin this one. Why won't the wheel turn? Obviously, I need to hire a driver. I can do that. I'm rich, you know. I'll also hire a chef, and I'll hire, I'll hire everything. I'll hire a housekeeper. And when you're rich, you can do whatever you want. You can sit on the beach all day, just counting your money and feeling the sunshine on your face. <sighs> and guess what? You never have to go to school ever again. Whoa, 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 Molly. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? The rich have the best life ever. They still have to go to school, Molly, whether you're rich or not. Nope. Mm. If I had all the money in the world, no more school for me. Molly, it's against the law to not go to school. You have to go to school. Okay, but the teachers would work for me. That means no more detention. Yeah, if you say so, Molly. Molly, would you really want to be rich? Well, yeah. Wouldn't be ri being rich be awesome? Yeah, but you'd have different parents and a different sister and everything. Mm, yeah, I guess that's true. So, would you still want to be rich? Well, I sure would miss my mom and my dad. Hey, where's mom? Sorry, I had to go put another quarter in the parking meter. Oh, it was the last quarter I had to. Well, maybe I can find another one under the couch cushion. <laughs> maybe we could save up and bring the girls back to the ice cream shop one other time this summer. That would be so nice. As much as being rich would be amazing, I sure would miss my mom and dad and sister. Really, Molly? You, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be rich? Nah, not if I couldn't be rich with you guys. And you guys, well, are poor. So I'm going to stay being a family with you guys. Oh, Molly. That's amazing. And when I grow up, I'm going to do something awesome like be a doctor, or a rocket scientist or something. And I'm going to make sure that I buy us all a really nice house. Oh, Molly, you don't have to do that. 
but you're such a sweetheart for saying it. Yeah, no money can buy an amazing family. And mine sure does love me a whole lot. Ugh, it can't be morning already! Oh my gosh, why does it happen so early? Why? Molly, oh, today's a brand new day. I can't wait to go to school. Seriously, Daisy, you can't wait to go to school? You are crazy! Insane, totally psycho. Whatever, Molly, just because you never do all of your schoolwork doesn't mean that all of us are bad students. I'm not a bad student. Okay, yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I sort of am, but I'm smart and I like to read and stuff. Yeah, you just don't like homework or tests or any of the work part of school. Um, yeah, duh. Mm, I do like the work of eating the pizza at school, though. Molly, school lunch is not the important subject. It is in my eyes. <laughs> did I forget to do my schoolwork? Oh, man, I hope I did it all. I hope I did it all. I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay, math homework check. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, I did that. Yes! I actually wrote my school paper for a minute. I thought I forgot to, but nope, totally didn't. I'm gonna go have some breakfast. Uh, Dad, why is your head stuck in the oven right now? <laughs> That's a funny one, Molly. <laughs> um, well, your dad is fixing the oven. Hold on, I almost got it. Oh, man. Does that mean we can't have any pancakes today? I think I fixed it. Oh, um, what's that smell? Ew, Dad, did you fart? No, I think the oven's on fire. <laughs> ah, abandoned ship. Just kidding. I think it's going to be okay. Oh, Dad, seriously. <laughs> you really freaked me out there. Where's Daisy? Daisy! Just making sure all of my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted for my schoolwork. Wait a minute. What's this? There was a school paper due today? How did I miss this? Oh my god, this is terrible news! Oh my god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, what would Molly do? She always is terrible about doing your homework and, 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 and I can't fail, so maybe I'll use her as an example. I know what she'd do. She'd fake being sick! That's how I can get out of this. I, I don't feel good. Achoo! <coughs> yeah, that seems really believable. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Da Daisy? What, what's going on? Oh, Molly. Achoo! I'm sick. You just got out of bed five minutes ago and said you felt great. I know, but it just hit me that quick. Sometimes the flu does that. Holy guacamole. You have the flu? Stay back, Daisy. Stay back. Molly, I'm laying in bed. You stay back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have my mask on because I do not want to catch what you've got. Girls, uh, what are you doing? You're going to be late for... <gasps> Molly, why are you wearing a mask? Is everything okay? No! Mom, put on your mask or your hazmat suit. What? Why? Because Daisy's come down with something. What? Oh, no. Daisy, are you okay? No, Mom. I feel terrible. I can't go to school. You better put on your mask. Oh, don't worry. I have a really high immunity. I'll be fine. I've caught every childhood bug from, well, going to school for so many years. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's going to be okay. I'm sure it's just a little sniffle. Yeah, probably, but <coughs> I think I need a popsicle. Okay, Daisy. Well, I'll call the school and tell them you won't be in today. Thank you. Can I stay home too, Mom? I want a popsicle. Absolutely not, Molly. Get ready for school. Oh, man. Woohoo! My fib worked. And now I won't get detention. And now I won't get detention. <laughs> Daisy, we didn't have any popsicles, but we did have ice cream. Daisy, why are you dancing? Oh, um, no, 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 no reason. It just helps me to feel a little better. Are you crazy? You need to get in bed. You're sick. Here, I brought you some ice cream. I only licked it about mm, 10 times. Ew, Molly, it's all over your mask. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, I've got to get to school. Feel better, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. That was strange that she was out of bed dancing. 
Who does that when they're sick with the flu? Hmm. Seems kind of suspicious to me. Hello, Brookhaven. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to be connected to Mrs. Smith. Oh, you're speaking to Mrs. Smith. I'm filling in this morning for the principal until school starts. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Um, this is Laura, Molly and Daisy's mom. Oh, hello. Is this about Molly again? Oh, no. Actually, today it's about Daisy. Oh, no. What happened to my prize student? Well, she's come down with the flu bug. Oh, I see. Well, I would still like her to send over her paper that's due today, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, I think I could have my daughter Molly send it over. Okay, if Molly can figure it out. Hey, I can figure it out! Mrs. Smith, you're so rude. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Smith. Tell my most prized student, Daisy, that I hope she feels better. I will, Mrs. Smith. Bye. Okay, Molly, uh, did you hear what she said? Yeah, I was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. <laughs> Why don't you go onto Daisy's school portal and send over her paper? Okay, will do. Just gotta go get Daisy's computer. Okay, logging in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Where's Daisy's paper? It's not in her homework file. Weird. Maybe I can check over here. No, no. Oh my gosh! Daisy's paper is missing! Okay, I better go ask Daisy about it. Daisy! Daisy! What, Molly? Can't you see I'm relaxing? <coughs> Very sick over here. Daisy, I, I'm on your computer. What? Why are you on my computer right now? What, what are you doing? Um, well, Mom called the school. Mrs. Smith answered. Why did she answer? Um, because she's filling in for the principal till school starts. Oh, okay. Well, why do you have my computer again? Because Ms. Mrs. Smith said you had a paper due today. And she still wanted you to send it in, even though you were sick. What? That's never happened! Well, maybe because she answered the phone for the principal so she could tell mom that. Anyway, I can't find it in your school folder on your computer and I'm trying to send it over for you. Um, uh, <coughs> too sick. I, I, I can't fix it. Daisy, you need to send this paper over. Your teacher's asking for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Daisy, why are you freaking out? Just... Tell me what's going on. I, I, I can't, Molly. It's, it's so horrible. It's humiliating. Daisy, tell me what's going on. I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for the school bus. I, I, I didn't do the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Molly? Stop it. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. My stomach hurts. Stop making me laugh. Molly! What, what is going on in here? I heard a huge thump. Oh, that was just me. I was laughing so hard it fell on the floor. Daisy, why are you out of bed? Molly, I told you to send Daisy's paper over to Mrs. Smith. <laughs> yeah, Daisy. Why don't you tell Mom what you're out doing out of bed? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm really sick. Yeah, uh, I'm sure she believes that. What is going on here, girls? I'm starting to get frustrated with you both. Molly, you're going to be late for school. Now send that paper. I would love to send that paper, Mom. See if you can find it on Daisy's computer. What are you talking about? You can't find it because Daisy didn't do it. What? Uh, that's not true. I just <coughs> couldn't really work on it too much because I was <coughs> dying from this sickness. <laughs> she didn't do it. Now she's faking being sick. I know, because I've pulled this prank a million times. What? You have? Well, not a million, but maybe once or twice. Molly! I should ground you! No, you can't ground me after the fact. <laughs> I already did it. Daisy, is this true? Are you faking being sick? Yeah, Daisy, are you faking being sick? Huh? 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 Of course not! I'm a goody two-shoes. I would never do such a thing. Why isn't your paper done then? And why don't you want to go to school? Uh, because I'm sick? Molly, I don't really think your sister is faking it, but why didn't you do your paper, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I confess to the whole thing. I faked being sick, so I didn't have to go to school and get detention because I forgot to do my paper. <gasps> Daisy. Oh, my gosh. You're 
grounded. What? Me? Oh my god, this is gold. <laughs> Molly, be quiet or you're gonna have uh, grounding forever. What? That seems a little harsh since I actually did my paper. I mean, it might stink, but I actually did it. Yeah, you're right, Molly, but don't teach your sister. Okay, can I at least stand here and watch? Karma's so beautiful. Molly! <laughs> Daisy, get dressed. You have to face the music. What? You gonna make me go and get detention? Absolutely, Daisy. Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to detention. <laughs> on the board a million times. I am the worst student ever. <laughs> 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 <laughs>